I also see myself. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that, Inks? I mean, it sucks for everybody else who has to look at it. <laughs> yep. I can I just turn know. it off. Yeah. Hi guys, look at look at all these people we have today. We're, we're here to talk about nothing in particular. There is there's no real news. Uh, I don't know about that. Regarding Guild Wars Two. Uh, there's I got a lot, lot to complain about. There's <laughs> really yeah. a lot to complain about. Okay, wow. Well, yeah. I guess we both. Yeah. yeah. There's there's a little bit of stuff. There's a little bit of stuff to talk about. No, uh, it's today. been flawless. Yeah, it's been flawless. I, th I think you know that might be the place to start. Let's, you know, let's, let's talk about actual Server meat of stability. The, the meat of meat of the game. Um, like, and what the happened on itself. Friday, G Pop? There was there was a little there were a few speed bumps guys okay there are a few speed bumps on path of fire release okay a little, little oh, bit did bumpy path of, did path of fire release yes yes it did oh, i wouldn't know i haven't been though. able to log in God damn it. everyone <laughs> everyone who didn't buy enough gems isn't allowed into the expansion that's how it works <laughs> wait that way that means you should, de you should definitely be allowed into the expansion. yeah yeah he gets priority access yeah. Yeah. <laughs> priority access to the failing servers yeah that way, i mean i yeah i think it was frustrating to deal with, but I think we should uh, give a re cut Arena a little slack. I think there were a lot of people, a lot of people logging into the game. The stress test didn't help at all. It wasn't enough. It wasn't no. even close to enough. <laughs> oh. it didn't do shit. It, it t testing it was completely, completely useless apparently, uh, because way more people logged in and the servers just melted. People couldn't do the story. People still can't do the story. I, for example, I can only be in Elon Riverlands right now. The only, I, can't, I was trying to go to Crystal Oasis to be the least spoilerific. For the background, it won't let me in. I can't get there. I can't get to any map except this map. So I'm just, I'm looking. At I had map. to. Uh, I, I had to sadly retreat back to NA because EU was was dying on me. It wouldn't yeah. let me play in EU. It was just the lag was really bad. Like my lag is normally, you know, not great because you know I'm across the ocean, but it was really bad in Path of Fire launch day and and the days after that where. Everything was super laggy, not just skills, but loading assets and just everything. And I thought to myself, when I got in there, went and got my Raptor, which nearly crashed on me. Luckily, I got out. Luckily, I escaped. Got the Raptor, and I just ran for the next map as fast as I could because I'm like, I need to get away from everybody else. And it didn't help, though. You get to the next map, and it didn't really work any better. <laughs> so no escape, a, bit of a bit of a rough start. Well, that was... And the sto yeah. story wouldn't load, so I just I gave up for the night and kind of just packed it in. That was my strategy for doing the story. We did the story all in one go. And the strategy was we need to get further ahead of everyone that the story instances was, would actually load. And that seemed to actually work to a certain extent. As the further we got in the story, the quicker the loading times were. But right at the start, we had three or four minute loading screens. That was... That, that, was, that was not good, guys. It was quite yeah. the clown fiesta. It's, it was a stressful situation, but it'll be resolved soon when everyone gets bored. Like, oh, God, well, okay, that's it. We're done now. We, we, we're finished. We're finished with this game. We're going to go play something else. Get normies out. Get the hell out. Let, it, let me play my game. I don't care about you guys. Don't. <laughs> Get them out. Okay, I, want, I, I, yeah, I don't want more players in Guild Wars 2. Just shoot. Half of teapot. Yeah, we're, no, we're not doing spoilers, guys. We're not going to do spoilers because it's, it's two <clears> days out. It's, it's way too soon, guys. We're just we're going to talk general. Yeah. General terms. We're going to be nice. We're not going to spoil. Well, Plenix, I, I know Nike and Teapot have finished. Have you finished Plenix, the story? Uh, yes, I did. Okay, so it's just it's just yeah. me and Roy who are slacking. <laughs> I don't even know if I will finish it, to be honest. <laughs> Still never make it possible. I don't know. I'm, uh, for the, the little I've done, I... I don't know. I've enjoyed it so far. I think that my only complaint is, as far as like content goes, is that there doesn't appear to be any sort of Garant or Verdant Brink kind of events. Yeah, there's no world bosses or like meta big and I meta thought, too much. Right, and I, I and I think well, the answer, generally speaking, is to mix those in. Well, it seems like they're kind of sort of doing that with the bounties. You know, yeah. I think. It sort of seems I have a like whole, the bounty I have a whole, system. whole rant on this. Uh, on the bounty system? Uh, about, about, about the whole... Because, like, the, the replayability thread on Reddit is just fucking retarded. I, I, I Like, yeah. it, it yeah, was just like, oh, this, there's no replayability in these maps. And you know what? I, th I thought that at first, but then... So all the complaints of the HOT metas were like, oh, these are on timers. What if it doesn't fit into my schedule? So 
they created metas, the bounty hunter systems that are, you can do them whenever you want. You can come and go. You can jump in to the squad, kill some bounties, jump out. And people are like, oh, it's not as rewarding. Well, of course it's not as rewarding because you haven't figured out how to do it the most optimal way yet. And then people give it two weeks. There's going to be like bounty hunter trains that do it perfectly. And you're going to get 25 gold an hour, 30 gold an hour. And there, it'll be no different. It'll just be, you can come and go. Yeah. Like, like I, I don't, the complaints are completely overblown. Like, and people I are like, oh, we don't, we don't like bounties. It's like, I don't know, the legendary bounties were harder than any of the HOT met, like bosses except Garrett when it was brand new before they nerfed it. Like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, a I lot think of the fights have a bunch of mechanics. Yeah, the bounties are really cool, man. They're, the bounties yeah. are really cool. They have a lot of, uh, the fights are all very different and they have actual mechanics as well. I mean, they've got, they've actually put subject six. In uh, in open world, which is kind of funny, it'll be funny to watch people die to that a lot. Um, the, the the slime, which is which is kind of cool, but which which map is he in? Uh, he's well, he's not actually subject. It's an ooze that has the exact same. Oh, okay. basically. But it's in uh, the desolation, I think. Oh, it's a slime. Yeah, I, it's I a slime. That, right? A disgusting slime. Uh, but yeah, we trio yeah. legendary bounties in two minutes. Oh yeah, that's why you have to wait for all the the open world players with um, <laughs> you know. Uh, with with soldier gear and it'll scale them up for you. It'll be good, you know. It'll, it'll make yeah. it. It'll make it difficult, you know. It'll make it make it hard. Like some of them are. Some of them get annoying if you don't do any damage. And then yeah. Well, they have they have RNG abilities, and if you get the wrong combo on a legendary one, you're gonna be in for a really difficult fight. Just because it will frustrating fight. Put it that way. Not yeah. necessarily difficult. But I, th I think that's a case of the player base getting used to them, though. Don't you think? Like people will eventually kind of learn vaguely what they do. And then you, you, it'll be very, very cheesy, and you just melt them to melt them to pieces, right? Yeah. Uh, that, that's kind of the case with everything, right? I mean, it, it just as people get used to it, it'll get easier and easier, and just get smitten, absolutely deleted. But um, I think, the, uh, yeah, the, the complaint that I would probably go with is, is like no giant, like epic world boss. They're all yeah. kind of little mini ones. Oh, yeah. I think the re I think there is a, a level of replayability to it, like especially if they. Uh, especially if they change the way the hearts are to be way less cancerous than they currently are. I don't know. Maybe I'm just trash at open world hearts, man. What can I say? But those things just take forever. And they don't really give you anything. Yeah. I, I don't know. Well, they're, plus, they're, the, they're the fetch weird. ones are just annoying as hell. Yes, they are annoying. But, yeah. I, you know, I think there is an awful lot to do in these new maps. I think... They're, I think, in, yeah. my, in my opinion, like the actual map design is is a, is a pretty big step up, actually, yeah. um, in this expansion. There's a lot of stuff to do. And... MMO Inks will be happy about this. I think exploration is a huge part of the new map section. There's so much to look at. Yeah. A lot of secrets yeah. to find. Loads of little cool puzzles to do. Uh, and, and all these things to locate. I mean, an entire mount, right? That you can just find. Huh? So th there's a lot of crazy stuff uh, about the maps that you can, you can try out and e explore. Because they're huge! And you have mounts to do it. The joy of movement, guys. So, so hold on. Calamari is saying that there are at least two metas that people haven't even finished yet. One in the Desolation with three lanes and a legendary mm -hmm. boss. And one in Vabby with five champs on a 20-minute plus timer. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen either of those, so... Yeah. yeah, I've seen the Desolation one. I've, it always popped up, but I always ignore it because I was so, like, focusing on getting the, the you know, the secret mount. <laughs> yeah. So... It was just oh this oh that's the event but I need this event instead so yeah I mean if those two end up being sort of the same I guess theme and flavor of Garant and AB then I'd be pretty happy to be quite yeah. honest yeah um, the hearts to me now I haven't done nearly as many as you guys but I actually enjoy quite a number of the hearts it's just they take too long to complete. Yeah, I feel like I'm halfway done the heart, and I'm like, okay, I've had enough of this. I want to move and do another heart or another event or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, welcome There's, to Guild Wars Two. That's well, like, yeah, no, I, I realize that, but I feel like some hearts are balanced a little better than others as far as like how much credit each thing gives you. And I yeah, feel like one... I don't know if they'll do a pass on that or not, but I kind of hope they do. Yeah, there's one heart in the Desolation where you kill forged people outside of the Shadows base, and like you can finish that heart in 30 seconds, but every other one is like pure cancer. And I actually like doing some of like the alternative things, like uh, you know, you can kill harpies, or you can eat stupid carrots, or you can kill groundhogs, or whatever. I just wish that each thing gave you more credit towards the heart, so I'm not there for 
a super long period of time yeah, yeah. eating stupid carrots and shit. You got to round up a lot of carrots, man, if you want to do that. <laughs> it's, it's a I whole mean, it's lot of fun carrots. for a little bit. It's a, it's a big it's bunny, man. Like, yeah, like, you know. yeah, the bunny is is a, he's a hungry little guy. You got to feed him a lot of carrots. So there was one in the, the Temple of Duena, right, where like you need to stitch them up, bandage them, break their arm, whatever you, you oh, know, whatever yeah, you yeah. have to do, right? And that's cool doing it like two or three times, but I don't need oh. to repair like ten. Did you just say people. break their arm? I'm gonna break. Is that, their arm. How, <laughs> is that how you heal people? Links? Uh, uh, brace their them arm them and then break their arm. That's uh, <laughs> yeah, snap their arm. Uh, right uh, right. Yep. But yeah, let's, yep. maybe we should talk about mounts. Mounts. There's only one mount, and it's the bunny because oh, you no. can get anywhere with it. Like yeah. you, you see all these puzzles they constructed where it's like use the jackal to get here. Obviously, go through these eight portals. It's like, or I can just go up the wall with the bunny and find this route you guys didn't think of and, well, and a, get, get the thing anyway. Without the jackal, aren't yeah, there's a few, but like most of them you can yeah. exploit. With, not exploit, but like you I can haven't just even unlocked the, with the bunny. It's it's but, so uh, really yeah. The bunny yeah. is super annoying to me. The <laughs> Of course it is. It's a bunny. <laughs> um, funny, man. No, and not even not even because it's a bunny. I think that's actually kind of quirky or whatever. But I don't know. I feel like I fall to my I fall off of things I shouldn't be falling off of because it's of hard, its It's hard to move them around, like in a little area. Yeah. It's hard to like turn them and stuff. You have to do it in a certain way, otherwise they end up falling off cliffs, which is really annoying. But it's interesting though. Yeah, I I mean I think overall it's fun. Mounts are fun. It's a cool way of getting around the maps, like you were saying before, Teapot. It's uh, they're very well designed, and obviously they're huge. So it's you know it's a lot of fun. I've I've enjoyed going around the maps like I haven't in a while. Um, so that's that's good. Yeah. But there's a, not being able to interact with stuff though while you're on the mount is really annoying. Uh, you can't swap mounts while you're on a mount, which is kind of annoying. Um, you can't see your mini pets, which <laughs> doesn't doesn't really matter. But you immersion know. shattered, immersion yeah. destroyed. <laughs> Hey, I spent nice a lot idea. of time crafting uh, raptor hatchlings. I want to be able to see it, man. Like, did you craft all of them? I crafted all of them. Yeah. Yeah. So did I. Oh my god. Wait. What? <laughs> what a waste of gold. How, wait. <laughs> no. No. You, you so guys cool. have to explain this to me. What? What is this? Like the, the. What is this with the raptors? The raptor. So race. now every time you open a black lion chest, you get a, a mini green raptor hatchling. Um, and oh. when you lock it, it opens a collection. There's like ten, ten of them, I think. And uh, to unlock the other ones, you have to forge more green raptor hatchlings. And it takes, like I think, like something like 400 of them to actually unlock all of it. And, 200, yeah. 244 raptors, 453 oh. unidentified dyes. Yeah. I just bought Plus, them all off the TP. It cost right, so me like, like 650 gold. 650 yeah. gold for a bunch of raptors. Yes. Yeah, but the but, fire one's really cool. <laughs> yeah, so there's, uh, there's green, blue, yellow, red white black which are all base colors then there's silver and gold and they're sort of plated like the juggernaut a bit doesn't have quite the goopy effect but it's got the shiny plate mirrored Ooh. effect and then fire and ice um fire like, the fire one effect. is like molten like he's a molten lava now he doesn't have footfall effects they have a little trail though sort of yeah a little bit of a trail and then the ice one like breathes ice and has sort of the snowy effect on him I, you can just buy them off the trading post as well. I don't know if it's cheaper or well, it's well, probably not cheaper. Well, I mean, I guess it depends easier, on inflation. Guess, yeah. But, yeah. But so, yeah, uh, that's... that I did a video on that today. It's a bit pricey. It's a bit expensive. When Arena Net goes and changes the Black Lion chest, it's probably going to get worse. <laughs> so there's there are Griffin races as well. There are races pretty... that are kind of based around all the mounts. Okay, yeah. that's really cool. I, I wonder how many people can actually participate in the Griffin races, though. Not a lot right now, I would imagine. Yeah. It's it's quite the... You have to do quite a lot of stuff to get to ac get access to the Griffin. I shouldn't think there's um, a lot of people have, have got a, have managed to grind it out yet. There's a bunch of stuff you got to do. There's already guides, though, obviously. Guild's have, community have seen, is on point, as always. Have you seen the video of uh, someone flying through the part of the... Thorn, yeah, yeah, it, it's it's a very fast Griffin boy. It, it, yeah. it, it, it looks it looks like a lot of fun. I, yes, that's the only reason that I want to do this story is to unlock it. Really, yeah. I don't really care about anything else in the story. Just well. just to get that Griffin man, that well that flying man. So Nike has the Griffin. Yeah. So why don't you tell us about the Griffin? Well, I don't have all the masteries leveled up yet, so it doesn't. Oh, it's not okay. as cool as it will be. <laughs> but I think the coolest thing that you can do is like, let's say you're like falling or flying or gliding or whatever. 
you can deploy the Griffin while you're in midair, which is like the coolest thing. Whereas the other mounts you can't deploy right. in midair. So it's like a glider mount. Yeah. Essentially, except you can go up too. So that's like it. It can, can fly. You, can you permanently go up if it's fully mastered? No. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't think so. But you can like do like leaning things so you can go faster and like dive bomb and. Yeah, <laughs> it's very cool. That's pretty. It's very cool. It's very fast, and it you don't really lose a lot of height if you flap the wings either. I've seen it in action. You can just yeah. flap and pretty much... It's like a glider, except you don't really lose height. But it's also a I, griffin. I gotta say, I was actually really impressed that they had this, you know, mount essentially hidden, and no one leaked it, no one knew about it until they found it in the maps after the beta. So well, props, props to Rina for that, I guess. They did data mine it, but... Oh, right. they I was gonna like, say, we, no one knew, we knew it about the griffin Shut mount, up, but I'm everybody right. thought it was cut. <laughs> yeah. Everybody thought it was cut that content. Too. Which Either means way, also that that data mine spider mount is clearly going to be a the raid spider reward. Mount, the <laughs> spider, spider mount raid reward? Yeah. You know Whoa. it's coming? Oh, mount raid reward. Ooh, so uh, what does a spider do, you think? Does it climb the wall? Climb right up the mountains? That would actually... Maybe it's, that would be, be very over, that would be really overpowered, man. <laughs> that would be really OP. <laughs> if the spider can just climb up all terrain, that might be a little bit imbalanced. It would be I sweet think. if it was like the uh, Draconis Mon special action, where it like, oh, shoots like a thing and yeah, yeah, yeah. it, pulls itself up. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. But again, that would just defeat the purpose of the Springer, wouldn't it? You don't really need the Springer anymore. Yeah, but the, but the bigger mounts kind of do that, except for... Well, I mean, I guess you still need the Springer for certain jumps, right? Springer's still the best, like, as far as getting places. Yeah. Someone said... Um, can the Griffin be used on updrafts? I don't think so. I don't think it does. No, so. it, doesn't, it, it doesn't, doesn't work. Overlap. It doesn't have overlap with gliders. It's completely. not a literal glider. Yeah, but it's, it's like Damn a glider. They don't Damn want to it. overlap the masters. Uh, I mean, there aren't updrafts in the new maps, anyways. So. Yeah. No, but the updraft master is like for gliding. It's not specifically yeah. for mounts. So, yeah, I think uh, you talk, talk, speaking of masters, I think uh, I think the masteries. Are pretty cool. Well, I think that they're pretty cool. They're all very practical, right? Like a lot of the HOT ones, they're just there for progression's sake at this point. Like a lot of them don't really do anything as such. Like you, you never use them, right? Like, like the mm -hmm. Chak one, the the Chak one that uses like a, a million billion XP, and and it, you whenever you dodge, you can get the Chak goop off you. Like no one, no one uses that shit. Like no, no one uses that. Um, and so it's good to see that all of these actually do something. Like the only one that was really useful in, in HOT all the time was gliding, right? And then, like, some of the ones to, to kind of get around, uh, you know, they're, they're kind of handy in HRT as well. But like, the, these are all have, like, a very definite impact on how the mounts operate. Uh, and they all do things. They all do things. They're not just, like, a weird gimmick. They're all actually really useful, right? It's, it's very handy. You know, the jackal can go through the portals. The bunny can jump really high. The rat can leap really far. Uh, and then, um, the, you know, the, the, the griffin can fly around, and the skimmer can go over water, which is really cool, and it can also like, levitate itself up a little bit. So th these these masters all do something. They are very easy to complete, like all the XP boosters I, I was gathering yeah. wasn't really that necessary. They didn't go too crazy on the XP. <laughs> There's not the a lot HRT of, not XP was insane. Like, it was some of those masteries thing. were like 4 million. million or something, yeah. yeah, like, that's crazy. That was, that was nuts. Yeah. They did that's a better just, job. This was um, a bit better, yeah, for sure. You didn't feel like you didn't feel like you had to grind for XP. You could just yeah. like explore yeah. the maps and play the game and get the XP that you needed. Whereas in HRT, it was like, okay, I gotta grind three million XP. Better go do this. Like, find a, find some veteran spiders to kill for for the next two for hours. Six hours. Right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It's really not the case at all. It's it's very quick to to level the which is nice. You know, that's nice. That's nice. Um, so you know, that's a, a pretty good design feature there as well. But I mean. I suppose there it makes them a little bit uh, generic, but honestly, I think it's the better the better of the two masteries in terms of progression. Maybe they're a little bit too easy to get, but then again, who wants to just grind mobs, right? Who wants to just grind XP all day? Like, well, you, know, you also you need hard. them for a lot, you know, the upgraded masteries to get around the map and stuff. Mm. Um, so it's it yeah. sort of makes sense to give you access to them quicker. Yeah. But another t another testament to the the map design of Path of Fire is actually that the game doesn't feel really obnoxious to get around without yeah. the masteries, like. Heart of Thorns is, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, well whenever I... I, hated, I, I, I hated exploring those maps. When, when I, whenever you have no mastery, is Heart of Thorns is just so painful. Dude. It's, it's, it's horrible yeah. to get around with, without the masteries. I suppose it was supposed to be like that, I su right? It was, it was supposed to be yeah. hostile, a hostile environment. You have to master the jungle. But it's just, oh, oh there's, some, there's some pain. There's some pain in getting around, getting around the, the, the jungle 
without the master. Do so some one. of the um. Yeah. They're they're sort of mini puzzles. There's at least two in the Crystal Desert I found. One with torches, and one with like a blue light you need to follow to get the chests. Oh, the uh, the treasure hunt. Yeah, like the little. Is that what it is? It's a treasure hunt. Oh, well, I found like a treasure map that you open up and it gives you a special action key, sort of like um. I don't remember what that event was called, but you have to, it like pings a, a location and you have to follow it. And yeah, then you no, just find a chest. this is, um, so in the Crystal Desert, there's at least two places where, there's one where there's sort of these uh, ruins that there's a torch, you go around lighting all the torches, and, and they go out after a while, so, but if you light them all fast enough, it reveals like a hidden chest. Okay. And there's another area where there's a little blue light on a platform. And the platform, it's not really hard jumping, quite honestly. But you just need to, like, jump from blue light to blue light. And once you're done all of them, it unlocks a chest for you to open. Not crazy loot inside or nothing, but I just thought it was, like, a cool little extra side. Yeah, those are always fun to find. Thing to do. Yeah. Are there any uh, new jumping puzzles in any of the maps? Like Josh Foreman style, like kill yourself jumping puzzle. <laughs> I haven't found I haven't found any, but there, there might. There's be. a cool like, be... jackal puzzle in um, the the crystal uh, crystal oasis. Yeah, I I the finish it with a bunny. Yeah. Oh, to oh, get oh yeah, to... you yeah you yeah you can exploit it. You can exploit it really hard, but you can also you can also do it normally. Uh, it's like the south part of the map, right? Yeah, in the south there's part, there's a, point, there's a yeah, super cool uh, castle with, with yeah. There's a mastery point, but then there's also a puzzle. That you can go into like you can climb up um and there's multiple paths you can go and it, it'll, they'll spit you out and try and kill you but obviously you're in the mountains so you can't really die there's a bunch of places you can go around and get to this at the end you get some chests and you get some loot oh. and there's some gin trying to kill you it, it's it's all it's all pretty crazy someone someone is saying there is a jp in an instance which you get yeah. an achievement for yeah, yeah sure in a story instance oh oh well that's kind of cool yeah yeah well, the story instances themselves are actually really good, but let's, let's, let's talk about the maps a little bit more first. We, let's, let's keep on topic here, guys. Uh, like in terms of the the actual the, the maps themselves, I would say like well, it's arena. The environment design is top tier, guys. Like the the, the, the yeah. maps are beautiful. They look great. They look great. There's actually stuff to do. Uh, it, it is a shame there are no like mega events, but you know, I guess you just don't get forced into them. So maybe it, it only seems that way. Maybe we'll encounter some mega events. As we progress yeah, they might add the one. expansion. It'd be kind of cool if there was some big, like, Balthazar champion in one of the maps or yeah. something, maybe, to fight. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I sort of going back to the replayability of the maps, I think you can replay them, like, for sure. I, I don't think that it's, like, you just go through them, complete them once, and then it's done, just because there's no meta event. But I think it would be it would still be pretty cool if there was some sort of event that, you know, everyone knew was on a timer, everyone from across the entire world yeah. came in, you know. I, I think those are fun. I think those are it's something to look forward to. Yeah. Something to sort of yeah. plan. I, you know, I just, I think those are pretty interesting and obviously the maps are big enough for it. So, uh, you know, I think that'd be pretty cool. But yeah. uh, the design of the maps as well, definitely something that's really cool. There's one part in the Highlands. Um, there's a water gin you have to kill. It's a bounty. There's like this sort of water sort of castle type thing, which I think just looks really awesome overall. Um, it's it's the uh, it's the waterfall with the diving goggles on it. Don't know if you've been there, but I, I think that's one of the best looking parts of the maps. Yeah, I, it it's it's re it is really really fantastic, and it's, it's such a varied environment. You know, you think the desert, you're like, oh, how are they going to make this interesting? Well, they did, right? Yeah, they've got a lot of cool structures, a lot of very very cool environments. You've got the desolation, which is very different to anything we've seen before. We have like all these weird kind of castle palace structures. We have a lot of callbacks to Guild Wars 1, which is very nice, by the way. A lot, yeah. a lot of cool stuff um, that's referencing Guild Wars yeah. 1. Um, Tomb of Primeval Kings. Tomb of Primeval Kings. You got all the stuff in Vabby that was also in Nightfall. Uh, and, and again, with the Desolation. A bunch of stuff with Augury Rock. There's even like an, uh, an event there, a big, uh, well, um, uh, it's a champion, so it's not really like a big manner event, but. You know what I mean? There, there's a lot of stuff that is a callback to Ghost, which is a very nice tip of the hat, actually, by, by Arena. So a lot of credit there. Ghost Dunkaro? Yes! Yes, yes. Characters <laughs> are coming back. Yeah, Ghost Dunkaro. That was the coolest heart. Yeah. Not, I mean, the heart was cancer to finish. But, yes. Yeah. But, <laughs> like, but the whole dialogue with Dunkaro, where you could talk to him and like ask him about his life, that was really cool. Yeah. yeah. And there's a lot of stuff there with regards to the lore. That the, the maps are kind of exactly what a lot of people were asking for. There's a lot of story that 
is hidden there for you to discover about the place. There's a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of notes, a lot of secrets to find, and a lot of NPCs to talk to, a lot of dialogue you can get, and uh, there's a lot of lot of good stuff there. And if you if you're into the lore of the game, or if you want to kind of catch up from like you've, you you only play Guild Wars two, but you're interested in the lore and you want to learn about Guild Wars one, there's a lot of a lot of crossover there, which is really really nice as well. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is this is something that. Um, I was kind of asking for back when HOT came out. Like, maybe it's gone a little bit too far in, in Path of Fire, but some of the mastery points, you actually have to do stuff for. It's not just like a generic open a chest or just channel at a point. Some of them you have to go on the crazy adventures, man. To go, really? Uh, you, yeah, you have to collect a bunch of stuff. Or you have to do a puzzle. You have to do a puzzle. Or you have to uh, collect stuff run about the map, yet. run around. Or you have uh, well. to... Uh, the sous chef, which is yeah, the sous chef. usually my favorite. Yeah, yeah the it's sous great. Chef. Yeah, like yeah it's a shame they games. couldn't pay. Uh, it's a shame they couldn't pay Gordon Ramsay to voice him because oh, that, would have been oh. yeah. that would be amazing. That would uh, make the whole expansion worth it. I really, I really Give me chicken love. stock, you donkey. Yeah. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it is that is really cool. How it's not just it, talk to this mastery point and uh, yes, you get it. Yeah. Although a lot of a lot of the mastery points, it's a bit of a puzzle to get to. You know, you have to use the mounts to get to it, which I yeah. mean, obviously makes sense. But, but yeah, it is it is nice to see, it, you know, not just um, easy easy things to do. Yeah, all the yeah, time. it's it's really new, cool. New like, stuff to, to have mastering the the desert actually built into doing activities instead of just. You kind of kneel down, oh, and it's just a channel for like, come on, that's fucking lame, dude. I mean, there are a bunch of those, right? But that that's cool too because usually those are at somewhere that you have to find, like a like a like a mystical location you've had to track down, and that's and that's that's pretty cool too. Like the way the way that is, that's you know, it's perfectly fine. And uh, what one up just said as well about the hero points, you don't need uh, like yes. ten people to finish yeah, them, they're, they're which is obviously just, great. They're all just veterans um, mostly, or, or yeah. I hate, hated having to try and get like a group together to to finish that. It was really annoying. Speaking hero, of point. hero points, I got. I don't, I'm sure you guys all tried to use uh, the notary guy heroics to. Use heroics. So you used up all. I used up all my my uh, proof of heroics on characters, thinking I was going to need like 350 hero points per character to unlock. Well, you only needed 250. So now I have all these characters with extra hero points, but then I have other characters who have zero hero points. Why? Why did you think so, you only need 350? Because I figured there's no way they're going to let us instantly unlock, like, the second we <laughs> log into the game. No way. We're going to have to do something to get it. And so now I have, like, oh, like my warrior and my guardian and all that have extra hero points. And I have my my necro with zero. So now I actually have to, like, hey, play you, the game. You're just prepared. It's, you're prepared for the next expansion, yeah. right? Yeah. You're, you're prepared for <laughs> Yeah, oh. another another three years from now, you'll have those, in, those in hundred of ways, zero though, points coming in. In a lot of ways, I think it's actually really good because at least it's consistent. Two fifty yeah. per expansion. You know that you're going to need that probably going forward now. And I think in a lot of ways too, like I didn't really see any complaints from people saying like, "Oh my god, I can't play Hollow Smith or something." What the hell, Arena Net? You're making me go play for you know twelve hours before I can play him. Don't worry, so, no one's complaining about being able to play Hollow Smith. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Good Brutal. job on that one, Bounce. Brutal. <laughs> Is it really that bad? It's bad. Wow. Do, do you guys out. want to talk about the, the the Elite Spec Fiesta a little bit? In all the very yeah, very let's, let's, di let's <laughs> dive right into that. Let's go. All balanced perfectly. I incredible. I couldn't, <laughs> not a single issue on any of them. No bugs either. They all work with their traits the way they were intended. Yes. Great job. Yes. Excellent. I mean, the the balancing is just as good as the servers are working. Ooh, that's that's spicy. Yeah. Yeah, th there, there are a few I mean, little balance issues in in all the game modes. Let's be oh, honest. Here. It's not little it's, balance <laughs> issues. I'm sorry. Not. Did you say little? Because I don't think 87 <laughs> DPS is little. I mean, what was what was the top DPS before? Like 40k? No, like thir like no, not like, even that, man. No, it's 36, like, 37. Well, well, Con Con yeah. Connie Thief could get up to like 40k, right? It, yeah, it's double. Yeah, so yeah, several <laughs> levels. Yeah, like yeah, 80, like 90k burning ticks on firebrand is good stuff. Like, f wait, what was it like? What I think um the QT unrefined, like not even like perfectly set up or anything like that. Benchmark is 47k small hitbox now. That is. That is hilarious. That is amazing. And, <laughs> and and as recently as like four days ago, people were arguing with me on Twitter that Firebrand was bad yeah. and would never be used and, and was terrible. 
changed. Yeah. Yeah. Or and people, I, I'd like to say now for the record that I called that Power Weaver would be a decent, uh, a decent spec, and that it wasn't complete yeah. trash like everyone on Reddit said it was going to be. So, Weaver surprised me. It did. I mean, I mean, I, you know, it was. It's pretty good. Yeah. The Not conversion, TV, the conversion stuff is all bugged, so that's kind yeah. of helping. Are all of them gone wrong? Is that all everything that does conversion is wrong? So it now including converts. Food. It now converts like might. E if it might says converts server. power to X, it's converting the the might from power or the power from might, the power from banners, the power from EA, Ooh. all that stuff. So, so, so the way yes. I figured that out was I I went on my warrior and since we lost 120 precision from that one trait my conjure duration should have gone down because it's not converting as much precision anymore to expertise. But I noticed it was up. It went, like, my conjure duration went up, and I'm like, how is that possible? <laughs> and so I realized I was now getting spotter and banner of discipline granting me extra expertise. And I'm like, okay, something's up. So then we tested it on Ellie, and of course Ellie was now getting, like, an extra 400 ferocity it's not Ooh. supposed to be getting. Yeah. <laughs> And, and Firebrand is getting an extra minor, 400 condi duration or condi damage. It's not supposed to be getting so it's pretty good. <laughs> and uh, and I guess uh, Rangers getting oh well, no one takes extra vitality. So I guess if you dropped a banner of uh, banner of tactics, tactics or whatever, yeah, yeah then, get then the Ranger extra would get vitality. extra condi duration. There yeah. you go. So that would be something. But yeah, all those conversion traits and the food too. Like the foods that convert stuff is is completely bonkers now at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. How how long do you figure? I mean, obviously they have to fix the server issues and everything. And how long do you think it's going to take them to start balancing stuff? Like, I think they're going to fix the conversion stuff because I I've heard that they're working. Right. I mean, that. yeah, they probably want to like fix actually the bugs like first, balancing but... stuff. I think they might let us run wild for like a until PvP weeks. spec until the end of the PvP season. Yeah, I think right. I, yeah, I, that like, might happen. Yeah. Anything that's like way, 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 way broken, like they'll probably fix. But like, oh, I don't think they care very about very strong. I don't think they care about like for for PVE wise. I don't think they care about people being able to do 40k DPS on an LE. Like that's not gonna like. <laughs> yeah, it's like OP as hell, but like it doesn't like ruin anyone's game experience. You know what I mean? Like they're not, they're just gonna let that go till the next big balance. Actually, match. Inks, how is Soul Beast? I haven't really seen much about it. Uh, Soul Beast is okay. I mean, it's it's kind of like playing old Condi Ranger with dagger now instead of axe, right? Or at least that's Are you playing Condi Soul Beast? Yeah. Yeah. You're not the, playing I, don't think, I don't think power really... I mean, I, I guess we'll have to wait and see people who actually aren't good at crunching numbers, but I don't know how well power really works in PvE. Uh, I think it's okay. still behind, to be honest. Have you PvP'd on it at all, or gone to World of Shield? No, I mean, in PvP it might have a place because of the burst. Like it still it does have quite a bit of burst, but I don't know. I haven't really been PvPing to be quite honest. And in World vs. World, I mean, you're still a ranger, so have fun with that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, then the, guys, we, I think we've got breaking news. Base is that from the patch notes? Did they just patch that? Fixed a bug in which stack conversion. I mean, it might be a meme, but <laughs> is he memeing or did they just did they just patch that? Because it wasn't you built just now. If he I literally think. just if they literally just patched that, well, breaking they news. The they just tossed that in because yeah, Nike yeah. said it on stream. Nice job, Nike. Yeah, good job. Well we, <laughs> that was real. Nice um, one. Okay, all right, there we go then. Oh, we got to do, wow, we do the benchmarks right. again, guys. Yeah, go have fun, QT. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try logging <laughs> in, see if I can play this game. No. Have no oh, yeah, no. Weaver will go from 50k DPS to like 42. Oh, oh darn. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be. It's gonna be. Oh my goodness! This, this, this is great, man. This is great. Uh, and yeah, hey, so. hey, hey, hi Reddit, hi Reddit. So, so Reddit. Let's let's talk about let's talk about <laughs> scourge. Let, let's talk about oh. scourge a moment. Okay. I still can't so I saw on Reddit oh. and, uh, and various forums that scourge was now trash, especially no, it is trash. in TV. Okay. It's terrible. I, I, wait, I've seen wait, I've seen something like a 38k benchmark for Scourge. Like maybe that's a bit inflated because of some of the funky stuff that's going on. But still, like 38k DPS, guys. That's like better than everything in HOT, man. Like, and let's talk about PvP and World versus World. Like Scourge no. is Scourge is the oppressor, guys. Okay, like bow down, <laughs> bow down to our Scourge overlords. Like playing against Scourge is it, it's play it's fun to play, but it's also complete cancer to play against. Like it, it's complete AIDS. It, it's amazing. Like, Scourge is hilarious. It's sustainy. It does complete cans. If you go anywhere near it, you die. It, oh, it's amazing. Excurge is glorious. Four second cooldown, double kaboom conversion condi cleanse. It, it, oh. It, oh. Every, 
Every World of Sword fight is now just centered around Scourge and Spellbreaker Elise. Yes. Like, yes. Yeah. oh boy. And because of the, the Spellbreaker wonderful. Elite interaction with the Grandmaster trait, like, if you end up in a, in a Spellbreaker bubble, you are dead, pretty much. Like, there, there, there's... I don't know. Like, it, World vs. World is just... It is just like Spellbreaker bubbles. The, the, it's the a clown game. fiesta. Yeah. It, it is... World vs. World it's, is a great clown fiesta now. It, it's amazing. Yeah. Like, whoever it's has not, the most scourges and Spellbreakers wins. <laughs> it's great. It's not, was, it's not... Yeah, uh, it's not bad. Like, it's, it is still fun to play, yeah, but I mean, it, everything, everything needs to be balanced pretty hard. It's... You can't have that... I was saying it yesterday on stream. I don't. I don't think World vs. World should essentially be all, all the fights be bounced around one skill. That just that seems sort of game breaking. And that's the case with the Spellbreaker Elite. Yeah. And so I was I watching a stream good. with uh, I forget. I think it might have been Wilson Storm stream where there was like a, a small like havoc group of like four or five Spellbreakers just running around together, and you couldn't do anything to them because there was always one of them at any given time do, using full counter. So it was just AOE interrupts in this ball of interrupts that you could not touch. And they would just like roll over other small groups and there was just no, nothing you could do to them because they were just perma-blocking, perma-CCing. Like, it's, it's insane. But, like we said, Spellbreaker sucks in PvE. Like, a lot. Hey, at least there's that, right? At least there's that. Yeah. But in, in PvP and World vs. World, I think especially in PvP, actually, like, Spellbreaker yeah. is just running around just bullying people right now. <laughs> Uh, yeah. in in BVP, it's it's some savage stuff, dude. That's the 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 way that the full counter does a massive amount of damage, and then you hit them with another burst and it does a massive amount of damage, and you take all their boons away when you interrupt them, and everything you do interrupts. Oh my and God. you have basically perma resistance. Yeah. You have a lot Every, of resistance yeah, you, up time. You do. It's, a, it's savage stuff, guys. You have it's, your resistance on healing signet, your resistance on full counter. You have resistance on. I mean, you, if you're using berserker stance, stance if you have resistance on the stun break. Man, uh, meditation skill uh yeah it's, it's like permanent basically permanent resistance and obviously just you know you can trait to remove uh, more damage when you remove boons it's yeah it's it's very very strong it is very also strong. still can't log in after the patch oh feels, feels bad man well i i'm just never gonna log out that's fine that's good you, you server slow yeah he hey. feels eu man yeah like and Mirage. the uh the AT, which was delayed, the monthly AT, which was supposed to be yesterday, delayed to today, is supposed to be in 11 minutes. So we'll see how that works with no one able to log in. Yeah. Do you want me to tell you how you? Do you want me to tell you how it's gonna end up? Yeah. So, uh, Syngineer and Hellseth win on EU, and they're gonna, they're gonna duo queue the AT. Yeah. <laughs> well, and their team, and the rest of them. Oh, yeah, and the and uh, <laughs> and in NA, it's gonna be Nas and company. On their new accounts, who win? Yep. So, <laughs> if anyone, if any of them can play, though, because I mean, uh, Frostball, I was talking to him on Discord. He said he can't log in, or he's having a lot of issues. The rest of his team uh, like, feels I mean, bad, man. It's not, it's not, win, just, it's not just EU as well. Did, I think didn't they win? Uh, didn't they win EU like four V Man last month anyway? I have no idea. Maybe. <laughs> did one of them but, sit out? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's oh, not good. Boy. No, that's great. It's fantastic. Yeah. Well, you I know, guess we'll have, have to see we, we yeah we will have to see. I mean, with all of these elite specs, like people haven't figured them out yet. People need to work out all this stuff. Like something that might be considered kind of bad now, like people will figure out how to play it, then it'll be amazing. Like I think stuff like Weaver, especially right. Like as soon as people figure out how to play Weaver, I think Weaver's going to seem way better than it is right now. As soon as people have actually mastered it and really got to grips with it, especially in uh, in, in stuff like PvP. Uh, but I think honestly, I think PvP is not doing. Not doing too bad. Not doing too bad right now. It's a bit of a fiesta, but it's it's all right. It's all right. I don't know. We'll have to see. And yeah, of course, there'll be a balance patch pretty soon. Wait, when does the season end? The season must end relatively shortly, right? We're about halfway through. Uh, I don't remember. I think it's the end of September. Yeah. But um, actually, no. It's in October. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It is in. I think it's one of the first like two weeks in October. I believe is when the season ends. Twenty second of October. Someone just said. Yeah. So. Yeah, we still have like three weeks, four weeks. What day is it? Today's the twenty fourth. I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'm playing hard of uh, Path of Fire all. Too all busy weekend. playing Path of yeah. Fire. Yeah, losing track of time. So another month, another month of this. Yeah. Wonderful okay. clan fest. No, I think that's actually good. You know, I think I think that is oh, actually 16. good uh, in in the the way the way that's we're going to work out because everyone right now is going to be going ah Imba broken broken OP but. 
uh, as, as people learn uh, how to play around this stuff in, in the competitive gamers, as people kind of figure it out a little bit, um, it, it might not be as bad as it seems. You, you, know, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's people just don't yeah, know how to I, deal with stuff right now, you know? People are unfamiliar with the classes. They don't yeah. know exactly how to counter. I mean, I think there is some of that, but I also do think there is some stuff that is that definitely needs balance. Um, but it's, yeah, it's not as bad as, it, as everyone, I think, mm. is making it out to be, you know? You have to give it more than Wait, two days. People, pe people on Reddit are overreacting. No, so, oh, not just no. Reddit. No, no. That, 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 on Twitter, on the Discord, they're oh. overreacting. No, that never nice. happens. Uh, not in Reddit, this community. Reddit is a is a forum on the for the most intelligent and well thought out people on the internet to come together and discuss things in a polite and respectful, thoughtful manner. manner. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah exactly what yeah. we've got here my well, favorite reddit thing for today was like the ren someone did a renegade benchmark and i have no idea if it's good or not i haven't watched it but it got like 38k dps or something like that and the comments are like oh that's unplayable like 38k <laughs> dps before <laughs> you have some that would have been the best build in the game and now it's unplayable, unplayable. like come on God. Like, garbage spec please yeah trash like, tier yeah. absolute terrible terrible God. garbage oh, man. Something, actually something we haven't talked about uh dead eye I don't think we've mentioned Deadeye at all. Deadeye. Uh, sorry, Thieves. You're not getting any love there. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. He got a piss, Daredevil. right? Daredevil's still good, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Daredevil's obviously. Daredevil's but I good. Meant, like, they're not going to get new, new stuff. I mean, Deadeye's great, exactly good at what it's exactly for. Guys not being running good. around open world with their rifle. Sniping people. Pew pewing things. Yeah, that's, that is true. That's what yeah. it's for, and it's actually good at that. Like, that's yeah. what... Like, yeah, yeah I, I've gotten ganked a few times in World of the World now by Dead Eyes, and it's very annoying. But I think other than that, they don't really have any. They're not good at anything, which is unfortunate. But I guess we'll have to see. I mean, Dare, I think it's it's not even that they're so bad. Like I think I don't think it's a great spec, but I think it could be almost okay because the damage is pretty high on them. I'm pretty sure. But Daredevil is just so much better. It's so much yeah. more mobile. You, it's, it's it's a lot more useful, especially in PvP. So I think that's that's part of the reason that people are negative. Yeah, uh, when it comes to data. I think that's that's a big problem for Thief and Mesmer, right? I, especially in PvP, like the specializations they already well, had were just so powerful. Actually, it was I think Mirage cool. is supposed to be pretty yeah, good. Yeah, exactly. That's that's, that's what I was saying. That's what I'm that's what I'm trying to that's where I'm going with this. Like there there is hope for the Dead Eye because they changed Mirage right, up a bit, right. and now it actually has an application to it, right? Uh, it it uh, there is some level of application to it, so maybe a few tweaks can make Dead Eye actually get some work done. You know. Uh, yeah. where, whereas, you know, like, it, it, you would have thought that d something like Dead would be very difficult to, to, to replace. Uh, whereas now, maybe, maybe Dead Eye can have some kind of application. A different role for Thief instead of running around being all fast. How about that? Yeah, yeah. it's going to be... He has the tricky. Might trade, which works weird. <laughs> you, yeah, you could, it, it, it's new PS Warrior, man. Just with yeah, no banners well, or empower allies, it's fine, we're good. The only thing you need is a lot of trash pops, and it works perfectly. You can upkeep all the boons. <laughs> yeah, which you what, don't really uh, have. What, uh, how's it for, how's Mirage looking? For people, for, 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 for Well, and just in general. I seen Hellset the other day saying, I love Mirage, but I'm not sure if he yeah. was uh, I think it, trolling no, I think or if he was being serious. It, it seems yeah. to do a lot of damage in, in PvP, so I think it seems, I don't know if it would be viable uh, as far as like tournaments and stuff go. I haven't seen a lot of it. I just know that it's it seems to be doing a lot of damage in PvP. Um, I don't know how it is as far as like team fights and stuff go, um, or if it's better in one v ones and stuff than other other classes. But it, it doesn't seem like terrible. Doesn't seem trash for PVE. I don't. I mean, I don't know what do you, Teapot Nike. It's a good. Uh, PvE. I saw a benchmark that Condi Mirage was getting like thirty three k DPS, which that's the new uh, trash man. That's the trash new trash. Too. Yeah, that would <laughs> yeah. have been meta a month ago, but now yeah. it's now it's yeah. unplayable. Like, but I mean, I'm sure there's fights like Deimos or Matthias where it's going to be really, really well above the curve. Uh, even after the, once the balance settles down, like if it stays thirty three k or even goes up a little bit, like it'll be really good. But yeah, but, yeah for Willis World, I don't think it's going to have any use. I mean, for roaming, I guess, but yeah. certainly not for open field or GVGs. It's not going to. Chrono's much better, and I don't even think you're going to use Chrono anyways, because if Firebrand, the oh, god tier, the yes. Spec, 
Ah, this yeah. this <laughs> Firebrand is so great, man. I even, love Firebrand. even with Virtue's line bugged. Yeah. Which by the way doesn't you know it's one of yeah. the strongest that was weird, Grandmaster actually. traits in the game. Or well for for Guardian I should say. Uh, it doesn't work with Firebrand, which is nice, but that was very weird. But yeah. they, they fixed a lot of the bugs on Firebrand uh, that, mm -hmm. that were appearing in the the test weekend or the you know test the, the test term testing times. But they didn't fix that one. They didn't fix the virtues one. I don't know, whatever. Okay, well I, that will get fixed soon. Let's be honest here. It just doesn't give you the stability. Well, right? It just doesn't was, do anything. So I was talking to some people who were saying they almost feel like they're gonna look at the virtues line as only affecting virtues. So if you're using Firebrand, which the, you know the virtues are replaced with tomes, it's just not gonna work. Um, so they're saying basically that it's not a bug that's actually intended. It's it's a feature, not a bug. But the uh, the cleanse trait does work though on the F. Does it? Okay, but yeah. uh, maybe that maybe that's the bug. Maybe, maybe it's, it's not supposed to. That would be yeah. very weird though. Do you think that would be? I, a... I would be really well, that was their Hollowsmith logic. They're like, oh well, we couldn't make this do the same damage, so we're just gonna nerf the PvP version yeah. rather than fix the PVE problem. Right. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, if they did that, I would not be like that. Would be pretty bad because they'd essentially be making an entire trait line unusable if you want to play firebrand yeah uh, which and i i don't know that it, it's it's necessary i don't know that you'd take virtues anyways but i mean that's still stupid to have it, an entire trait line just not usable if you want to play the elite spec so well, i guess you don't have to see how that works but yeah. well theoretically you can take the virtues just for the passive bonuses for the virtues and then take lore master in firebrand so you can upkeep those passive effects even when tomes are off cooldown yeah, so, but you don't get the, the yeah you don't get the bonus so. the active bonus like uh, on the heal you know cleanse free conditions and stuff you don't get that unfortunately. Well, two parts saying it does work. Oh, so it does. Yeah, it's, it's the, the indomitable curve trait. The, which the cleanse work. one does oh, work. Yeah. yeah, and the boons work. The boons. Do yeah, work. I, I would, yeah, I would so. still take like the endurance regen uh, and like the, and the battle stronger presence, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah over the indomitable presence. courage until they ex actually fix it at this point. Well, yeah, obviously, or, do anything right yeah. now. <laughs> well, yeah. you can still run some other trade line. You can go, I don't know. But, well, some... like Valor, Honor, and Firebrand, right? That would be, mm. be the obvious the, the obvious other choice yeah. of the two variants you'd go. And I mean, that's what Roy thinks is going to be OP meta, dude. I he, think that's, yeah. Yeah, because of the revive trait, obviously the extra sustain for the Guardian itself. Uh, but I don't know. We'll have to see, man. I think I think th these elite specializations have really brought out some exciting new options and different ways to play the game. You know, and, and that's that's the best part. Of, to me, that's the best part about this expansion. I think I think there's a little bit of a bit, a bit of wobbliness. I think it's going to be so difficult on how to pick stuff. Like it's difficult to fit all the stuff you want in these groups, right? It's difficult to fit everything you want inside your PvP comp or your world versus world group. Like, I mean, there's just so much good stuff you can you can have with with the, the previous elite specs, the old elite specs, uh, and the current ones now. It's, it's I mean, what, how, how is, what are we going to do this? Like, it's, it is so super much hard stuff. to... Oh, PvE, of hard. course, yeah. Yeah, it's super hard because you have six spots already dedicated that you can't, can't move in, in raid comps. So you only have four slots for the new stuff. Oh, that's, that's not enough. We need... Need to replace some of those. So, like, so the 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 core of rating compositions really. Ha I mean, not that it surprises me, but it hasn't changed at all, right? Well, I mean, I think if you did the math, you would. I would. You would probably find that Condi Weaver was doing enough DPS that it could replace the second PS Warrior pretty pretty profitably. But I like that's going to take time to test and and see, but. But I think I saw a Condi Weaver benchmark was like 38k, so, I mean, that's and that was with Dagger, but if you just give it Scepter, now it can stack Might and it'll get down to like, what, 35k? That's enough, most likely, to beat the second Warrior. But, I mean, it'd take time to, to see all these interactions. Yeah. Unfortunately, nothing is going to beat the second Druid at the, at the moment, and nothing's going to beat the second Chrono, which is bad. Yeah. Do, have you uh, tell us a little bit about that, Nike? Like, is there any is there any way we're going to dislodge the Chrono from the meta? Is it possible? Well, yeah, yeah, because Firebrand does like a shit ton of DPS, even if you spec for boon duration. So it's possible that you could just say, "Who cares about Alacrity? The Firebrand is like got so much personal DPS that we don't need the Alacrity." But what we've all come to depend on is distortion share and and <laughs> focus pulls and Moa yeah. for CC. That like you can't not have those things and have like smooth kills like, so, 
I don't know. I feel like if you did get rid of the Chrono, you'd pretty much have to bring a Mirage because otherwise you you wouldn't have Moa for CC and everyone would have to CC. Oh my God. Like it would be so really. would actually it, have to play the game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How and dare like, they? We don't. Veil Guardian. We certainly don't want Veil that. Guardian. Like you're still you still need double distorts and Damos, you need double distorts. So it's just. Well, you could um, you could potentially use blocks on on Demos, right? To block the if everyone's just tanks one yeah. slice, you could use the Firebrand heal skill, eh? To sort that out. So the, there is potential to do this. You can block things as well as distorting them. So maybe on certain fights you would play the Firebrand, on certain fights you play the Mesmers, because that's what that's what we really want to see. Maybe it's always the case that you want Mesmers on Veil vale Guardian because you want to distort stuff, so you, you can you can skip that mechanic, right? Or then maybe it's maybe it's not even worth. Maybe you can do so much damage, just instantly re reheal up that you don't even need to distort stuff anymore. You just instantly heal up. You just don't use any scholar classes, right? No no problem. You just don't have to go with that. Uh, but, you know, that's that's the dream, is that some bosses, maybe you would run Firebrands. Some bosses, maybe you would run Chronomancers. And then, I don't know. Though. But then you still have the Alacrity problem. Like, has anyone tested how much Alacrity stuff like Renegade can actually dish out? Or is it just not even close to enough? Someone was saying it, it's, a, it's close to 100%, but I haven't tried yet. Really? Close to 100%? But, would that be with Ventari or what? That's using, like, everything on Alacrity. Like, you would have Ooh, the most abysmal... Uh... Like, yeah. at that point, you don't even want to be Condi. You just want to go Berserker so that you can sword auto your way to victory. But, yeah. like, it would be, like, 8k personal DPS yeah. to, 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 do, uh, to, to do the Alacrity thing. It doesn't really seem worth it. No. Yeah. Like, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think Renegades are good. I think a lot of people haven't thought it's been good. Yeah. Certainly, uh, the guys who tested it out for it's... World of World that I've talked to have said it's pretty bad. Yeah. It seems a little bit lacking in... It, well, it could, I think it will do damage. I think it will definitely do damage. Um, and I don't the, think it'll be better than Herald, though. Uh, no, I don't think in World vs. World, no. But I think in PvE, I, I think in PvP, it's probably a bit of a, a bit of a dead end. Like the spirits can just be killed, right? The traits are good yeah. though. It's so, like maybe they could be good for some kind of Condi DPS setup. But the spirits just they just get cleaved, you know. Like they, it's not unless they add the way minions are that they take a lot less cleave damage. Maybe they could make that work if if they operated like that. Maybe they already do. Maybe I'm just stupid. Uh, but it seems like oh, it's don't. not. Yeah. Okay. Well, it it doesn't seem like it's going to be mm. that good right now, unfortunately. So I don't know. We'll have to see with with Renegade. But I think in PVE, when so, when we get a benchmark for that, I think it will do good damage. The traits themselves are pretty strong. Uh, themselves, they you got a lot of modifiers, uh, duration modifiers, damage modifiers, extra frosty as well, which is kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, you know, this is some. Some good stuff. And you bring Renegade, a, Assassin's but... Presence. Yeah, exactly. So you also like... bring extra power. Nice buff. And so this what is what the... you do. You run the uh, you run the Herald. No, the, the the Renegade. But you also run like the hybrid NG, like the the grieving NG or something, right? <laughs> so that means the grieving Hollow Smith, because that gives the Condi buff back to everyone, and also it benefits from the Ferocity from the Rev. Whoa! Let's think how amazing that will be. It'll be glorious. Speaking of which, so what? What is the, what's the issue with Hollow Smith? The the changes they made were too severe. Well, the, in PvP, I don't know, but in PVE, people like Space Cat before the patch was like, hey, you know that Hollow that Photon Forge in PVE is gonna do like way way less damage because of the way because it counts as a level seventy eight exotic weapon, which is not gonna do much in a world of ascended. Why do they level do eighty stuff? And so, and so, they, he pointed that out that it's going to do like twenty four percent less DPS than what they probably want. So then they nerf the PvP version to match it. So they're both uh. the same. And, like, <laughs> like, and, and then now uh, it's it's just so bad. Like full like I haven't seen a good benchmark, but I'm going to guess that like full tryhard power Hollow Smith is going to be like around thirty k. Like that's just yeah. not enough. And in, in regards to PvP and World of the World, I think. The only reason people were thinking about Hollow Smith was because of how much damage it did. It doesn't really oh. bring a whole ton of support, and you know now that's oh yeah. well, too bad. Paul Kidd is saying it's, it's, chat says it's, it's a level seventy-eight blue weapon, not yeah. even level seventy-eight. Yeah, it's <laughs> a blue weapon. <laughs> so you get For some so, reason, it's blue on it. If they Why? made it scale to level eighty ascended, then boom, your DPS would be fixed. Like it would be legit. But why do they? They've had. Even, this, I know that they had this issue before with other classes. Why do they do yeah, that? It, it came up with the ice bow and the uh, fiery greatsword on Ellie, where it was the exact same problem, and then they fixed it to scale with your weapon. 
So they just need to do the same thing here. So that seems like an easy fix, but at least. Well, they chose not to do that, though, so it seems <laughs> yeah. like they're not yeah. going to go down that route. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll, just, we'll just equalize it. It's fine. It's like, oh, who cares? No, yeah. no one Weaver has all of Holosmith's extra DPS. That's yeah. the problem. <laughs> Weaver took the Holosmith's DPS. Weaver took it all, man. Weaver yeah. took it all. No, it's, it's a little bit unfortunate that it had to suffer in this way. Poor Holosmith. I was really looking forward to enjoy it. I was really yeah, me to too. It. I was looking forward yeah. to Holosmith. I was probably the I most mean, hyped for Holosmith. Well, maybe it'll, you know, maybe it will get changed and it'll get fixed and balanced or whatever when we get that patch, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, by the way, the stat conversion change, it's real. <laughs> yeah. In the yeah. patch. Feels good. They I'm glad it. I didn't gear ahead of time. Regear ahead of time. Yeah, I almost geared my holo. I have, like, soldier gear with uh, worm runes, so. My old wolves as well, whatever. That seems oh. like an interesting build. Yeah. Soldier gear with worm boons? I've never heard of yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, I before. also yeah, I also had major item cards. It was before I discovered there's a thing called Berserker. Uh, oh. That was also <laughs> so... the time I thought that healing power actually increases like the revive speed. Yeah, that, it it was a generous <laughs> time. It was roughly forty years ago. Yeah, I haven't changed it in any way. Okay. Nice. I'm not gonna be uh, getting any build builds from you then, Plenix. No, uh, no theory crafting for speaking you. Speaking of Plenix builds, like you you played a bunch of uh, Weaver and World vs. World, right, Plenix? Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? How that was going? World well, vs. World. Well, it feels slightly worse than Tempest uh, because it has like a lot of modifiers, like if the enemy has weakness and stuff. Now it's kind of easier because of Scourge, so you have like extra weakness on enemy because it gets corrupted or stripped away with spell brokers. Uh, I don't know. I, I think it feels kind of good, actually. Well, how it's, are you playing it? Uh, I I was playing with Unravel in Primordial Stance, and oh, no, I mean oh, like support or damage. Oh, damage! Like okay. playing a support is almost impossible there. The only good thing you can have is the heal skill, which actually actually does something to the players. Then you can, of course, trade water and just healing rain every time. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Uh, I could definitely push for more damage uh, if I would actually go for it. Uh, and, well, mostly it depends whenever you place Meteor Shower. Like, that is the most like the best thing. If you catch the enemy in a bubble, in with Scourge, just corrupting everything, then you can easily Meteor Shower to se several t 20k DPS, like, in a fight, no problem. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it seems it, like it's, Weavers, it's uh, Staff Weavers were getting top DPS, or close to top DPS, like, every time. Yes. Like that, it was like them and Scourges were always at, like, the top five. Yes. Mm. So I think, it, I think it's going to be viable. Personally, yeah, yeah. yeah. Scourge is good because you just, you know, you just spam skills and it does something. In Weaver, it's good you have... because you spam skills. I yeah, think. yeah. <laughs> you just press the trail. You, you know, just press the elite. Oh wait, I can do this. I can just put down this well. Oh yeah, it's fine. In like Weaver, you actually have to kind of predict where everyone's gonna move because of lava phone, because of meteor shower. It's kind of better now since everyone gets stopped by the dome everyone doesn't want to cross the dome and stuff like that so it's kind of easier to actually put the fields down and just kill them easily i think beaver is gonna be like one of the high deep well if we consider the old meta it can be like on par with like um Warrior or Berserker, the old Berserker, but it, okay, you take it as another DPS basically, which can be like top DPS if you do the fight correctly, like corrupting boons and yeah, the enemy having no retail basically, so it, he doesn't die. Scholar up time, boys. That was a long monologue, wasn't it? Yeah. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited for Weaver. That it is, I guess. <clears throat> yeah. And as long as, as long as we still have the ability to kind of catch people a bit better than you were able to in Heart of Thorns and World of where you can kind of lock people down a bit better with the bubbles, it's like they can't can't get past them or they get caught in them and they're just into dead. So Weaver really shines, man. I guess Spellbreaker also shines there with just great sword, just going crazy. But having like hundred blades at range at twelve hundred range is also pretty good as well. 
with Meteor Showers and Lava Funds. And like, all the combined skills, right? The staff combined skills are really good in World Versus as well, as well. Like, a lot of them have a very high... Well, some of them have, just like, no target cap, right? I, I'm pretty sure some of them just don't have a target cap, which is obviously pretty beneficial. Uh, as long as you don't kill yourself on retail, I guess. Um, yeah. But, yeah. I think, um, you know, Weaver is still going to be... It's going to be pretty... Yeah, re retail is not much of a big of a problem yeah, anymore. Scourges. Yeah, Scourge. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Just... Yeah, just have scourges and spell breakers, and yeah, you can pick anyone as a DPS at this point, and it might be a top DPS. Yeah, and that is a bit of a problem, though. I mean, I, I, it's it's going to be curious to see how World versus World kind of pans out, right? I mean, if it if it's just going to be like, the amount of boom pressure, like, do you can, does anyone have enough reapplication to survive? I don't know. Maybe I have a bit of a biased. Um, outlook on this because we were fighting a little bit outnumbered like fighting outnumbered sucks now it yeah, really man, sucks yeah it, that, that's not something i like now. either to be honest yeah. i i hope being able to i mean you sh i don't think you should always be able to win outnumbered but being able to at least put up a fight outnumbered i think is really good um because i mean if you if you're if you're never if there's literally no chance of you winning outnumbered people are just going to give up way too fast you know they're never going to try to fight something that's bigger than them and that's that doesn't make any sense it's not it's not healthy it's not good. So, yeah, the fact that numbers are so... M and this was the same after Heart of Thorns, too. Um, numbers became a lot stronger. It, who won was based a lot more on numbers and a lot less on actual skill and, and stuff. So, I, yeah, I, I don't I don't like that. I, I would love it if there was a way to sort of move away from that. I don't know if there is with power creep and everything, but... Yeah. yeah. So is it Scourge or Spellbreaker that's causing the, the steamroll? I mean, it's both. Yeah. Spellbreaker I, is pretty strong, but it's not. It's really just the elite. Like Spellbreaker, it does. It obviously it rips a lot of boons without the elite, and obviously full counter is very strong. But um, as as far as DPS goes, Berserker completely out DPSs it. Obviously, so you know you're not you're not like getting a ton of DPS from it in, in open field. But it's just the elite skill. You can't be in the elite skill, otherwise you die. And because you know it essentially looks the same as uh, an, your your spellbreakers winds of disenchantment. You don't you don't really know until it's too late. Like Tifa said before, if you're in it and it's not yours, you're dead. And that really is true. And and for an entire fight to be based around one skill is is ridiculous. So it's that with spellbreaker, and then scourge is just very very strong. As uh, as Plenix sort of said, which I thought was a joke, but you basically just spam your scourges and then they die. Uh, yeah. And it's not yeah, that's not that's not very good. I mean, again, it's the first weekend, right? Um, so it's a lot of people don't know how the classes work. A lot of people don't know exactly how to play around them. I mean, it's the same with Firebrand too. I mean, a lot of it is sort of spamming skills. So we'll have to uh, we'll have to see in like a couple weeks when people get more used to the specs and and they sort of figure out what the metas are going to be and, and the builds and everything. Um, and if at that point it seems a bit more balanced, great. But for now, I think Scourge is a bit too overpowered. I think the Spellbreaker, the Elite skill, definitely needs some nerfs. Um, we'll see. See how it works in a couple weeks. Yeah. Mm. Uh, the, the effect that you can't gain boons is is kind of the, the, the problem, right? It's not so much... The boon strip is really bad, obviously. It's ins insanely good, especially combined with the elite skill. But the fact that you can't gain boons back means that... Well, it's exactly the effect we were just describing. Like, if you yeah. get caught, you are yeah. dead. Just well, how would it be... I, I, you what would make survive. it... What would make it better than Null Field if you could regain the if you could reapply the boon? I don't. I think the fact that you can't regain it is okay. I think it shouldn't be as big. There needs to be some sort of indication of if it's yours or not, and that goes. Is that's not just that skill. Obviously, it goes for stuff like Null Field as well. Um, something I was I've been saying a few times. Uh, if you go in the PVE, like the new maps and stuff, you'll find like Harpy Spellbreak. Uh, sorry, Harpy like Dragon Hunters who have like Test of Faiths, but they're red. So, you know, you obviously can tell it's not your Test of Faith, and if they did that in World of World and PvP, I think it would be really cool. So basically make the Spellbreaker bubble red so you know it's not yours. Um, so that would be helpful. I think they, they need to reduce the radius, maybe how fast boons get ripped from you. Um, the problem is, like, you know, I don't want not, without, you know, going uh, for an hour-long rant, uh, the problem <laughs> is, if you, it, it, I'm pretty sure it prioritizes ripping stability, and if you rip stability and you're not able to get it back, you are essentially dead in in a in a blob fight. Because if, if you can't move, you're, you're not, obviously you're going to die. The only way to survive that would be to invuln, 
Um, and there's no involved that last. It's la- it lasts ten seconds. I'm pretty sure the bubble. Yeah. So there's yeah. there is no involved for ten seconds. So it's it's it is very strong. So maybe it doesn't last as long. It's not as big, and maybe rips boons a bit less. I I think the unique ability that you can't reapply those boons is good. Um, because as you said, otherwise it's basically just null field. But it is it's just everything else is too strong. What what if it just reduced the duration of incoming boons by like sixty six percent or something? That would be cool too. So like there, there's a potential for recovery. And if you, yeah. it, it would like fuck up your stab rotation a bit because like the stability would run out way too soon. But you, at least you'd be able to actually escape, you know. Uh, the, because r- right now, if you, if, you, if you exist in World vs. One, you don't have resistance and you don't have stability. You are a walking loot bag. You are a walking <laughs> yeah. loot bag because the scourges yeah. they're gonna get you. They're gonna get you with their <laughs> with, with those shades. Even, you know, even if you have those two boons, yeah. uh, you're yeah. not gonna have them for long. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh well, my goodness. Okay, okay, maybe let's think about this. To counterplay the domes, what if we would force Scourges to have the new portal? To use it to cross the dome area you and stuff. You don't have a chance to, though. You know what if I mean? it's like, on you, you lose. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if it's on you, you lose, but yeah. Or, or just maybe make it not prioritize stability, because then you're not always going to have stability get ripped from you, you know? Uh, in that bubble, so you, you have a chance to get out. If you if you if it pri- if it rips your stab, you're fucked. If you if it doesn't, like good, congrats, RNG gods have blessed you. But you know, uh, that's that's another thought. Mm. I suppose so. I mean, you don't. The only thing is, obviously, you don't want to nerf it to oblivion to where it's not useful at all, because that's what they did with other stuff, uh, like Dragon Hunter. Um, but you know, well, again, again, I just you know, this is a lot of sort of. I guess I, this is just based off, you know, the first weekend. So you have, I think we have to play it a, a couple more weeks yeah, and see yeah, how it is. Absolutely. Fights are so fun in World of Scrolls. I had yes. a lot of fun. Oh, um, yeah. I, yeah. Reset was delayed on EU on Friday, so, you know, I didn't just... participate in that. But I, did, I played NA Reset, and, I mean, there were a few DCs, but it was still a lot of fun. We had good fights. Um, it's different now because, like, fights don't last nearly as long as they used to. It kind of seems like either <laughs> you die in one bomb or they die in one bomb and the fight's over. But it's still exciting. You know, it's, you can still have good fights, which is nice. So it's not... It's not like World of this World is broken or some shit, you know? It's just, there's a lot of power creep, a lot of very strong stuff that I think needs to be toned down a bit. But. Would you say it somewhat improves the stability of the servers because everyone dies so quickly? <laughs> <laughs> they, like, they finally that was their plan skill all Yeah, hey, just the <laughs> ultimate goal for uh, Arena was, that reduce the skill lag. lag. There uh, was still skill lag, yeah, unfortunately. I also remember skill lag, but... Usually, if you get caught and you're in a dome, you cannot do anything anyway, so you die, and then there's no skill act, So uh, someone someone said that they can't believe like the release of this expansion because of how good Heart of Thorns release was. Heart of Thorns didn't have the best release. Like there was there were issues with Heart of Thorns. I mean, this I think it wasn't as good as Heart of Thorns, but I think the content of the expansion is certainly better than Heart of Thorns was. I, I would say the content of the expansion is significantly better than Heart, of Thorns, especially if you consider the story. Like, well, when, if you're able to play it, so if you, yeah, yeah, if you can get to it. The content is good, but getting it to it is a little bit more difficult, okay? <laughs> uh, but I, I would say especially considering the story, like the story instances, like the depth of the story, the the, the narrative direction I really enjoyed as well. I Don't worry, guys, no spoilers. Uh, but I, I, I actually considerably in, uh, enjoyed the, um, the the actual story, the actual story instances, like all that gameplay and stuff like that. It was, well, it was a except, lot of fun to play it through. Except for the very... The few brief moments where there are NPCs talking about nothing uh, in yeah. the story. There were a few parts that were kind of, oh, yeah, okay, hang on. Yeah, so all of get, it, really, let's, is get, let's, meant, but... yeah, let's get on with this a little bit. Like, it's going a little bit too too slowly. But honestly, I would, I would say it was really, really good. Uh, but, yeah. The servers were, yeah, the servers were a bit of a yes. Like, at the start, oh, man, I don't know, dude. Like, it, it was it State was server yeah. wait. Yeah. State server Thorium. wait. Yeah, path what is that? Thor? Thor Mern? You're absolutely mm-hmm. wrong. Somebody in chat Just says the content is good the for the first time, but in a month nobody will ever go to PO Maf, no, POF no, Maf ever again. It's no. not true at all. Yeah, it's, it's not true at all. The, the design is amazing, just right off the bat. There are just a lot of fun to explore. Like I, I don't really PV that much anymore. I used to, you know, I used to go around and do map completion in the vanilla maps and stuff, but I don't really do it that much anymore. I actually enjoy doing it in the Path of Fire maps. It's fun. There's a lot of stuff that I think people might not even have found in in a month. You know, oh, there's a lot time. of like little secrets mm. and stuff. Mm. Oh, yeah, and obviously, time. the bounties are they're still going to be relevant in a month. Yes. You know, yeah. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of that... there's a lot of really big collections. Uh, all the primeval the the tomb of primeval king like there's a bunch of armor and weapon collections that I think take a while to do. The griffin uh, to complete it. 
to get all the masters and stuff for it, and just exploring the map on the mounts as well, because these maps are specifically designed to be, you know, to to use the mounts to get through, and there's there's you're not going to get that anywhere else. So I, now they're especially, and if they end up adding some sort of world boss, you know, people are definitely going to keep coming back. They don't need to. I'm not saying that you know that's the only thing that would make it, but there's no. uh, like Nike said earlier, people are going to be doing bounty <laughs> trains. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. They, they might need depend, to, I mean, it, it all comes down to gold per hour. I mean, if you yeah. can make more gold per hour doing AB, then TD, then Silver Waste, then back to AB, then TD, then back to Silver, or whatever the order is if people do everything. If you can make competitive gold with that, then people will be there. If you can't, then yep. people won't yeah. be there. Yeah, and, and not only that, but In the long run, that's what it is. There's at least two events that was talked about earlier in the stream and linked on Reddit, where one of them, people aren't even doing the event yet. Yeah. So... You can't make a silly statement like you'll never go back to the maps when you haven't even done the event. So just stop with the silliness. Come on. You're, you're being short-sighted here, quite honestly. Get out of here. Someone get him out. <laughs> I'm just, you know, be realistic here. You haven't even played all the content yet. I, I love I love the threads who are like, listen, guys, there's nothing to do. Everything is shit. Two days after it's fucking release. terrible. But I haven't I haven't really done all the maps just yet. I haven't hundred percented it, so you know, but but those are the facts. It's like come on. You can't say all of these things like they're facts and then say, Well, but I haven't hundred percented it yet. I haven't done all the content. Yeah, I mean I've I've been more or less playing since release and you know, I still haven't I mean I'm going slow. I'm I'm not a speed clearer like a teapot here, but you know, I'm I'm still I haven't really repeated anything. You know, I'm I'm mostly just doing new stuff, which is really cool. So I yeah I I'd say there's there's a lot of opportunity and a lot of potential for these maps to be played People on. People aren't doing the events because there's no reason. No, you're absolutely wrong. Sorry. Go read the Reddit thread and go do the event and then come back. When whoa, you do that, then, uh, Inks triggered. Then you're, Ooh, you mean guys, Inks is triggered, boys. I'm a little no. triggered because you're being whoa. absolutely ridiculous and you're Ooh. spreading you're spreading this in chat when you haven't done fire. the events yourselves or you or most people haven't done the events themselves. There's no reason to do the event. People aren't even doing the event because they're out getting mounts and griffins and story and shit. Come on. Stop being silly. Stop being silly. Absolutely wrong. I mean, if they want to make the bounty thing super relevant, just add 50 silver to every bounty and then, and then like a gold to every legendary. That way you do the train, you kill 10 bosses in an hour or... or or add a, make them a gold each. I don't know. Just just give you ten liquid gold an hour, plus the whatever crappy drops they come with. Like I don't know. It's I a mean, pretty simple fix to not, make it like relevant. Like they can tweak it so easily that it's, it's not. I'm not. I'm not saying that I think people are going to be spending all their time in these maps either in a month. Obviously not. But no one does that in any map. Uh, you know. Obviously people are still going to go do fractals and raids and everything. But I don't think that the maps will be completely desolate in a month. So. I mean, and that's that's sort of the point, isn't it? There's not even Heart of Thorns maps that held that for two years. Oh, I mean, they're still you there, right? There's still plenty of events to do as well. Yeah. yeah, you pop in, you do an event, you leave. It'll be the same thing with these maps. Wherever these, uh, I think, Desolation is where the one thing takes place, you'll pop in, you'll do the event, you'll go to another event. It's kind of how games work. I mean, it's, it's just... You're being a little silly yeah, in there. The maps, the maps in a were month, designed... Uh, in a month, guys, nobody will be in any of the maps. Nothing. Yeah. Path, there'll be nothing to do in Path of Fire. You'll have wasted your $30, and you'll just want to kill yourself. I don't know about you guys. I, I just go to uh, Ruins, uh, Pla Plains of Ashford. I complete it to 100%, delete the character, and then do it again. Mm -hmm. I haven't stopped doing that since That's the, the game best release. content, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's, I don't know what this guy's talking about. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of... It's getting... <laughs> It's getting a little bit a little triggering, bit. guys. It's getting a little, a little bit, bit, a little bit spicy, spicy. Inks. Huh. It's a little bit, a little bit triggering. So it's a little bit, a little bit angry here. The inks is spicy as fuck. I think there's definitely something to be said that maybe a lot of the map rewards could be buffed up a little bit. I think it is a little bit weak. I would say with re with regards to the rewards, like maybe as as Nike says, it's because it's not optimized yet. But like opening the chest, like opening the chests in the test weekend, the test time, that was OP. That was like, well, okay, like we're getting a lot of stuff out. There's a lot of a lot of very expensive materials. Now you get like two or three shitty materials out of opening the chests, which is kind of, mm, eh, you know, it's 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 kind of yeah. But it, I think there's definitely going to be some tuning needed. But I think they just didn't want to make it ridiculously overpowered and and way too strong of a farm, right? And 
we'll have to see how it develops and pans out and if some stuff gets adjusted. I think one thing too is that you, there are map currencies that you get that you use to craft the different weapons and armor sets that you get from the meta or the bounties and all that. But it's not clear what you're supposed to do. Like in, in HOT, you you succeed at Oric Basin. There's a vendor right there with an icon over his head. You go run up to him and you trade your map currency for right. whatever mini or whatever you want. It was obvious. But in this one, it's like, okay, I killed this boss. I now have this item in my inventory that I have no idea what it does and I can't deposit it. So it's already annoying me. And I don't know what I trade it to, who I trade it to or what I craft with it. Like there's, it's not as straightforwardly obvious what you're supposed to do to get rewarded with those things. Yeah. Just yeah. whereas with the, yeah, just with the Auric Basin currency, it was very obvious what you do with it to yes. get rewarded. Yeah. Where, whereas now, yeah, the, the, we're gonna have to. There'll be a little figuring out, a little bit of a thinking period, right, uh, going into this, so we can truly find that'll out be, how that'll good be the rewards difficult. Really are. Thinking is hard, man. Thinking is really difficult. I'm just gonna wait. For everyone else to do the thing. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like people are already at it. Our greatest minds are already figuring out the best oh. way to grind that. Well, no, not me. No, dude, you think I was talking oh. about me? No, <laughs> no. Definitely Who are the not. greatest minds in Guild Wars Two, Tiba? Oh, Silverware skills. Yeah, people like that, man. Like the people who have mastered the open world content. Okay, open. They're, they're really good at this stuff, and they'll figure it out. Don't worry about that. They'll um, they will learn. And then they'll tell us how to make gold. Tell us how to get rich off Path of Fire. That should be good, I guess. Yeah. Get so much materials from all the events has contains in the open world. I don't know, man. I don't think it's that much that good right now. It's, it's I, don't, I don't know, dude. It's, it's all good. Yeah, and the heart rewards. The heart rewards are like really OP in the test events, but now they're not really that good. Yeah. Uh, and they take ages to do, and it kind of feels bad, man. But I don't know. There's going to be a lot of a lot of Parts have never been the... Uh, premier content of the Guild Wars no. 2 PV, I don't think. I'm, which, I'm not saying that that means they should have made them shit now, either. I mean, they could have done a better job with them, but... Yeah. Oh, yep. well. I didn't buy Pathifier for the hearts. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think a lot of people did. I think, Wow! The best yeah, thing on wait. this list is, is the heart events! I can't wait for the heart events, yeah. man! Oh, they're we, we, gonna be amazing! Yeah, yeah I mean, they're, they're hearts. It's like doing... Uh, it's like doing quests in World of Warcraft. It's like, oh my gosh, those quests yeah. are so amazing. I, oh, I need ten bear asses? I better get out there and get them for my money. <laughs> That's so profitable. <laughs> I gotta get that done. Yeah. No, obviously not. I mean, you do them, there's a little bit of lore and story you get, and you move on, right? And hard quests don't even have that much lore necessarily, right? So, it's whatever. Plus, we have a raid coming, which yes. is obviously yeah. Yeah. When, Do fractal. we know when that's coming? Have they Probably said like three to four weeks? I think yeah. was the hint. Is the so hint? It'll be pretty bad. It'll be soon, and well, let's see. Wait, will that be before we have the elite specs fixed? I don't think so, right? We might <laughs> actually have the new raid while everything is still busted. Now that will be exciting. And I heard, I heard you're gonna have to use the. Uh, I mean, I'm, this makes sense after someone mentioned it to me. It made sense to me. Um, you have to use the mounts in the new raids. To to. As as the, like the mastery sort of as you use temp uh, updrafts and stuff in the old. I hope wings. not, but I wouldn't doubt uh, it. Like how would be... they so the combat? I don't know, just to get around. Them. Not really combat, just to get around. Maybe. Oh, just to get around. Oh, okay, that might be fine, but like using it in combat is weird because you cannot mount while in combat. Right. No, obviously not. Maybe they learned their lesson from the wing three ley lines. Oh, that, <laughs> that they oh. don't need to crowbar in. The mechanic like that. But I like my attack helicopter. Come on. Everybody will need rabbits, and you'll have to jump up, up <laughs> this mountain or something to get to the boss. Yeah, yeah I did. I didn't <laughs> bought half of fire because, like, what I know I'm gonna get. I bought it also for the thing that will come in the next two years, basically before another expansion, anyway. So, yeah, I, I'm I'm ninety percent sure I'm getting my money out of it already. But yeah. It's fine. Just yeah. I mean, sure, I would pay thirty bucks tomorrow for for nine more elite specs. Like, yeah. just keep them coming. I, yeah, thirty bucks. Yeah. I'll, I'll I'm done with these specs, these nine right? elite specs. Let's get the next nine. Yeah. Yeah. We've yeah. already yeah. figured these out. We've already figured these out. Like, let's, let's, get, <laughs> let's keep it going, guys. Let's get a few more in here. Oh, it's certainly one of the most exciting parts of the expansion, though. I mean, yeah, it's, it's yeah, push for sure. It's it's definitely. 
what you're probably going to get the most mileage out of certainly was well, I guess for players like us right like a lot of people really enjoy the mouse but for the elitists the delusional elitists like it's the elite specs uh, the new gameplay that new gameplay that's what we're about man it'll be it'll mean more to me in a couple of weeks when people figure all the maths and stuff out that's not really my thing you know I let other people do that and then I just play it and have fun we're you having fun now that's that's the important yeah part. yeah of course okay. yeah absolutely no I, I I'm not having fun I'm playing that. some <laughs> random believe problem. me there's people that are there's people that are waiting to I'm, have fun I'm forcing like, myself here with the numbers this, well like, I mean like, you know w when I log in and don't disconnect yeah I'm having a lot of fun yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah I mean we've been saying you know that all the content stuff is good and exciting but yeah the release has been pretty terrible honestly yeah, it's been, I mean it's, it's been shaky it's not the worst release mm -hmm. I've ever been involved in I it's not as smooth as HOTs, I don't think, but yeah, been some issues it's been, for sure. It's been pretty shit, to, in my opinion. Honestly, I'm not gonna like. I just think it's been awful. I feel I mean, bad for you, like, you guys because on NA it's been flawless, no problems whatsoever. <laughs> a lot of people have had it worse okay, than me. Right? Like it, it was pretty annoying at the start for me, but after there was one point when I was just I was trying to unlock the skimmer where I crashed about 10 times in a row, that actually pissed me off a lot, but other than that, I can't think of anything particularly disastrous. A few bugged instances, like if you do too much DPS to a lot of the mobs, it just bugs and you have to restart the, the instance. Yeah, if, if you, oh, if wow. you kill, Yeah, if you kill stuff too quickly, it just, it doesn't well, let I mean, the script just, complete, but I, I don't know, it hasn't been like, too bad uh, for me, really. Things like people, you know, who I knew, they couldn't play at all the first day. I mean, the entire first day of the release, That's you know, right. not being able to play, which is... I mean, Day one was really bad. You, you yeah. pre-order this game, you know, months ahead of time, uh, or expansion, whatever, and you're not even able to play it on release date. I mean, that's that's silly, you know. And and I mean, Indeed. stuff like now. I mean, you know, I wasn't able to log in for three hours today, and, and I'm not saying oh, I have to be able to play, you know, 24 hours straight. Well, but it's, it's just, frustrating. Sure. Yeah, exactly. It's it's not good. Yeah. I don't I don't think it's a good sign that, that this sort of thing is happening. But I don't know. Someone else, Nike actually might have been the one who mentioned this yesterday. Uh, how you know. A lot of people are so unhappy with the release because they're not used to it, but this happens in a lot of other MMOs, which I was surprised at. I, I can't believe that other MMO releases oh. are this bad. Oh, yeah. But, uh, I don't know. I mean, they're, they're that, way worse sometimes. That being said, you know, I, I think they should try and be more consistent, you know? Like, it should be more consistent. They, Actually, in, these in a lot are of. bad regardless of if it's. I don't, I don't know if this happens a whole lot anymore, but it used to be for MMOs that there was a queue. You'd go to log in. And oh, great! I'm 1,275 in queue. I guess I'll just wait my turn to get. It. It's kind of like waiting to get into uh, World vs. World on reset night. Well, that was that's what it used to be like to log into an MMO on launch day. I'm just in queue, wait to play, and then you'd get DC'd and go back into queue, wait your turn again. Uh, D3 had a terrible launch for those who remember the Air 37 thing. Yeah, so. I don't know. I've been involved in some pretty terrible releases. This one is not great. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, definitely some bad ones out there in the past. Yeah, I, I think it could have been a lot worse. But then again, it's, it's difficult for me to comment because I didn't have it that bad. It, it was just it was mildly triggering. Like the triggerometer was a little bit high. Um, Let's put it this way: so Swotor, when it launched, you'll love this, Roy. When Swotor launched, it had a head start depending on when you bought your game. So if you bought your game day one, let's say you get a three-day head start, but you might not be in group A. They would have a group A who got to play right away. And then group B, depending on the time that you bought it, got to play like 12 hours after group A. And then group C got to play like on day two. And then group, like, that, they staggered the launch so they only let so many people in at a time. So if, depending on when you pre-ordered, um, and if you didn't pre-order, you know, forget it. <laughs> But if you, depending on when you pre-ordered, depending on when you got to play the game. <laughs> so if Teapot pre-orders before me, he might be in Group A. I might be in Group B that is like, you know, 17 to 20 hours later. And I just have okay. to sit and wait my turn. And then there's a queue. you got to wait for your queue to get in. <laughs> oh, man. That, that certainly doesn't sound good either, of course. But, oh well. But yeah, it's definitely frustrating. I totally get it, you know. I... Um, I was trying to make, a, uh, I started my Ecto Gamble at Sandstorm, and uh, I did my roll, lost all my money, but then it DC'd, so I got, a, I got a five-minute rollback, so I got all my I money know. back. 
nice. There was one guy in Salt, like right, the first rollback or the first like major DC. He said he had just won one yeah, gold. Yeah, he running the amount of Victor Gamble. Did he? Did they roll uh, it back or not? I think I it, it would have rolled it back. Yeah, I think it. it, uh, it, it, it would have lost. It. Yeah, it's oh, <laughs> oh. Hey, I'll one, tell you what, wins one K gold, loses got, it all. I got rolled back a bunch of times, and I was opening some chests, and I got way better loot after a few rollbacks. So I just actually, I'm actually an exploiter at this point. I exploited that, and then I rolled back. Oh, I, I got that free cash. I got that free cash, boys. It was, mm, it was glorious. In the first World vs. World season, didn't servers like Seafarers, Death Servers, and FSV of World vs. Queues like 1,200? Wait, did they really? There were go, some pretty like, huge one queues. One K queue? Fuck, I think there were. I, I I've seen some screenshots of some pretty insane queues. I mean, that was four. But that's just World Vs as well, though. I mean, that, that's, ago, that's yeah. just a, that's part of that's a game mode, and you, you, it's difficult to do it with, with um. It's difficult yeah. with with World Vs well because if you if you have more than if you have more than eighty players on a map, it starts to turn into a clown fiesta anyway. Like more than a hundred, really. Like more than a hundred. I don't, I don't know if it was, I don't know if it was quite twelve hundred, but it was pretty big. There were certainly like six hundred man queues, which I mean is insane. Now I don't even know if you have six hundred people on the server, <laughs> but yeah, go figure. Yeah. Are those your neighbor things or who's that? Drilling? Yeah, There's the Hell's Angels. <laughs> yeah. No, it's just. Well, the air is on, so it's already noisy. But yeah, people doing construction on Sunday when they're not supposed to. Yeah. Wow. Those bad men. Let's just hope they don't flood my apartment or something. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, that's happened before. It happened a couple years ago. Yeah. Got, the guy was um, he was putting baseboard down, and he just uh, put the nail gun through a pipe, where he's putting baseboard over a pipe or something for some reason. Who the hell knows? Who knows? Who knows what people do? Everybody thinks that they're, uh, I don't know, who's a good construction guy on TV? Bob the Builder. Home, homes on homes? Yeah, everybody thinks they're Bob the Builder, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> can you buy Path of Fire in the game store? Online game store? I don't think so. Yeah, you, you, can, to... you can. I think you can upgrade directly through the gem store, yeah. Oh, yeah, you probably can. Yeah. But you should use the referral link yeah! on uh, some, some streams, like uh, Inks. I think he's asking and for Nike the physical, Nike probably though. has a referral link as well. Oh. I think it's just those two, right? You know, you want... Nike oh, has I one. Physical copy? Is there a... The Nike and <laughs> Oh, if you want a physical copy, yeah. Somebody, uh, somebody linked on Reddit. They had a physical copy. Ooh. Yeah, I thought. I'm sure Walmart's Ooh. gonna have physical copies. Like yeah. Walmart, it's all that outdated. I don't have shit. a physical copy of Heart of Thorns, actually. No, no I don't either. If I ever see it, I should just pick it up, just because. Oh. I I have the pre-purchased one Ooh. somewhere. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh, look it out, Lennox. Here we go. There we go. Yeah. I, uh, hey, <laughs> oh, there boy. we go. Yeah. Hey. I have the pre-purchase one. For some reason, I did buy it. For me, it was kind of cheaper to buy it uh, than use the in-game jeans to upgrade to Deluxe. This is like how I actually bought the Deluxe. It was cheaper. Oh, I apparently Trick Shop says upgrades. I was I was fooled. Somebody Benjamin. just printed out a picture oh. and printed oh. a DVD case. I got tricked. <laughs> I got nice. tricked. I believe oh, them. That's funny. That's actually pretty funny. I like that. Got some good karma there. Yeah, farming that karma, man. Well, let's see. What do you guys think? How do you guys feel about how the elite specs uh, hold up to hold up to the HOT ones? Because I would say they're considerably better designed, in my opinion. They might be a little really? bit, a little bit spammy. Some of them are a little bit spammy. There's like a lot of a lot of them have a bit of an overload to them. There's like wow, ah, so many buttons. But no, I, I really actually really love the design of a lot of the new elite specs uh, compared to yeah, the like HOT ignoring ones. power level just from a design standpoint. I like yeah. them a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ignoring, like, they're busted or whatever. Like, just from a design standpoint, I would say they're, they're extremely enjoyable. The thing I like most about them is they're very different, it yes. seems to me. Which yeah. is the coolest part. And that's, yeah, that's really great. Yeah. I like them as well. Yeah. I guess except Soul Beast, which is basically Ranger mm. 1.5. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, you're turning into the animal, which I think is kind of cool. I mean, there isn't, you know, the other two uh, specs, you still have the pet, and this one, you're losing it, but... It's it's similar for sure, but it's I think it's still different enough. Yeah, it's kind of a cool thing. But yeah, I, I like it. Um, for sure. I mean the you know with the dead eye you, you completely change the the steel. It's now a mark instead of a steel. Um, the guardian obviously all the virtues are completely changed. I mean that was the same with dragon hunter, but it's uh, it's all the tomes and stuff sort of reusing the tomes that you had I think in like the first two years of the game because those were those were removed. Um, 
and Scourge is very different. You know, with the barrier mechanic, the shroud is is, shroud is different. Gone. Um, yeah. Right, yeah. Obviously, the shroud mechanic is gone. That was that was what made Necro sort of unique. It had that shroud mechanic. Uh, Mirage is. I mean, I haven't played Mirage too much, but it looks very different. <laughs> uh, so and you know, just so on and so forth. So yeah, it's definitely they're all designed pretty well. I think um, if maybe toning down the sort of spammy parts, like you mentioned, would be nice. But yeah. again, I think it's just because people aren't used to how they play and they're not. That I used to exactly how they work yet. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're more. It's more because they're button mashing and they're they're put they're pressing every skill on their bar rather than only using the good ones like we'll be doing in three months. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like even yeah. on Soul Beast, I'm using, um, I'm using Dagger Three a lot, which probably is not part of the regular rotation. I would assume. So. Yeah, it's kind of a. But who cares? It's the open world. Just smash yeah. everything. In just smash the keyboard as as like this and win. <laughs> yeah. Hey, even Spellbreaker was fun in the open world. I played Power Spellbreaker. I love Spellbreaker. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's, it's obviously it's not, not nearly as good as, as, good as, as like Power Berserker is going to be for PVE. But I don't know. It was, it was Man, those, fun. Those daggers play. are the best. I love I love Warrior daggers, dude. It's, it's awesome. It's, I mean, that's the whole reason I bought Path of Fire. I wanted I wanted those those daggers on my warrior. No, I, I I think it's yeah they're they're fun to play and that's what I think is pretty important. I yeah. mean, some of them obviously are better than Hearthorns or vanilla specs. Some of them might not be, but that's okay. You know, they're exciting to test out. There you go. So these trades are a resident sleeper. Yeah, they are one up. Yeah, yeah. feels bad. <laughs> some, of the, some of the traits are a little bit uncreative, a little bit unimaginative, but I think the 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 specs. But you know what? It doesn't matter because at the end of the day. I'm like, what the hell is this pet doing next to me? And I just go so be I just go beast mode, and it's gone. I don't have to look at Inks it anymore. Beast mode. Yeah, Inks <laughs> goes beast mode. That's pretty exciting. Man. Uh, yeah. Inks turns into a furry. Ooh, oh boy. Inks, oh boy. There's gonna be some photoshops Ooh. on that, dude. There's gonna be. <laughs> we've already got a lot of Inks photoshops, and now we're gonna have a few more about that. Uh, uh, yeah. I think that's the, probably the, the one criticism I would I would have is like, especially with Scourge and Firebrand, like. All of the abilities are so good. You just it, it there's it feels like there's never really a bad time to cast a lot of those abilities, man. They're just yeah, you're so just pressing good. everything as fast as you can. Yeah, it's just it, there's. I was initially thinking like, damn, there's, there are so many skills here. There's going to be a lot of decision making and, and clever timing on how to play these. But actually, they're all amazing. So you just want to press them all. You want you want to have everything on cooldown, pretty much, especially on firebrand. Like every single firebrand ability is amazing. Uh, you just 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 mash them, dude. Just mash it all. And on Scourge, like, I, I don't know. The cooldowns and the costs are still quite low. People were really crying about the increased costs of all the, the shade skills. Nah, they're still amazing. And you just want to spam them as hard as you can. They're just so strong. And they're so strong to use. I think you have to be. I think you have to be a little bit clever about it in in uh, PVE because they are like the cost really kind of mounts up there because you don't have people constantly dying. Uh, but I don't know. It's it's uh, hmm, a little bit a little bit too much. A little bit too much maybe. I don't know. <laughs> have we got anything else to talk about? What's going on, guys? Shock. I don't know. I mean, like, how is this possible? It's because we've got nothing to complain about, really. That's the problem. Like tea time is the complaining show. Like, why? why? Yeah. And the, there's I only I only have like really good things. How you can get new stats from raids? Oh, can you? You can get the new stats from raids. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's well, actually kind of handy. Yeah. All three of the new stats you'll never use. Congrats. Oh yeah, we, wow. didn't, we didn't talk wow. about the new stats. The new stats are, hmm, they're not. I don't know, I I still think that grieving might have some kind of potential, but a lot of people have been say, saying that it kind of sucks. Something uh, we yeah. forgot to talk about completely: the new guild hall. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I, it. I, I, uh, as a from a World of World standpoint, I heard you can cover up the hole in the center of the guild hall uh, or the arena, rather. Um, same, the same sort of mechanic as you have to put a, a ring up around the the current arena, so you don't get knocked off. So, I mean, that's. Oh, uh, okay. I, I don't. I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know if that was if that was someone assuming or something. But uh, that's what I heard, and if that's the has, case, then awesome, because it looks really good. Taken it yet? No, we haven't taken the new guild. It, I think we should though. It's a really cool. Uh, yeah. It's a super cool guild hall. It looks yeah, really good. Yesterday we were saying that why should we? Okay. Well, yeah, that's because we thought it was because it was trash. <sighs> but now that's not the case, and we learned. Yeah. We learned no, that's not the case. It's become yeah. untrash. 
Yeah. It, does anyone know if it has the new like crystals? Because I would like to get another weapon set of killed weapons. I feel like oh, I don't know. Oh. Right, so you mean I, yeah, you I have Tenebrous from Gilded and the other one Shimmering, I believe, from Lost Precipice. I so haven't even like, looked. Are there are there new upgrades and stuff for the Guild Hall? No. I know there's new decorations. There's no yeah, new the, upgrades? That I, I personally checked, no. I didn't wow. see anything completely oh. new. That actually seems like a fail. Yeah. 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 We can complain like about that. That is a bit of a fail. I was really expecting a, a bunch of a bunch of new upgrades and maybe like even a new structure or something, some kind of Elonian new structure. But I guess no. I guess not. I guess not, guys. Then. Mm. Well, I was yeah. expecting a legendary trinket collection. To be honest, yeah. that was one thing I was oh, like, okay. I was for sure thinking there was going to be a new legendary trinket with with the X pack that we could collect. The, with, they might spare it for a living world, like following up. Yeah. Same with raids. Oh man, gonna... get, get your mystic tri dude! Did you see the price of mystic coins? They dropped down to a gold yeah. again. I bought five hundred once they dropped down. Uh, so I was like, these are gonna go back up. There's gonna yeah. be a new, leg new legendary greatsword hey, coming uh, soon. You know, Nike, you can buy me another five hundred as well if you if you like that. I'm broke. <laughs> I, uh, I've spent like two two k gold since like this expansion. Oh, yeah. Yeah. on like nothing. On like nothing. Oh. On all those thirty two slot bags. I haven't bought a single one of those. I, That's I don't. I don't They're see the insanely point. expensive. Like, I mean, I've, my inventory is never full. That's why I yes. have a salvage kit. Like, why do you need 32 slot bags? I, I, don't, I don't, but get I'll, I'll get them eventually one day. <laughs> what do you need 200 inventory I, I, It's because I what carry around a huge amount of just useless junk, Roy. I need those bags. Stop that. I need them. <laughs> I need them. I can't. I can't stop You're it. such a hoarder. I, think. I am. Oh, God. My, my next thing is going to be saving up for the Griffin mount, I think. Yeah. I'm just gonna save everything for that. Yeah, now. it's only 250 gold. Yeah, it's pretty cheap, though. It's if you need yeah. the gold, just let me know. I'll yeah. uh, I'll sell you. I mean, I'll lend you the gold. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be careful. 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 You're gonna get banned again, dude. You're gonna get banned. Yeah. Oh uh, boy. Yeah. Today I started with 50 gold, and I sold a bunch of stuff for almost everything I had from my banks just so I can get the collection for Griffin. That was. Mm. I don't know. I regret it, but yeah, it's a griffin. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna enjoy it. Yeah, a lot to do. A lot to look into. I haven't looked into the bags and how much they cost. I imagine they're super expensive. Someone yes. was saying it's like 200 to 250 gold per bag. I think it's, to make it. Yeah, it's expensive and it's very expensive. Wow. Do we? Is there a recipe for it out? Because yeah, I don't. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen what it actually takes to yeah. make it. I know. It's I saw the, something it's, like you have to craft like. A couple different twenty-four slot bags. Then you have then like upgrade okay. those to the thirty-two. Like it's it's insane. <laughs> is, it, is it just twenty-four it. and thirty-two? Those are the two new. There's nothing in between that. Uh, there might be. There might be a twenty-eight. I so don't know. Twenty-eight. Yeah. I don't know, man. I think twenty slots enough. That's that's all. Just, I'm, I'm gonna just I'm gonna wait. We'll out. get them for free down the road for some. I have four eighteen slots. Yeah, the new be. Halloween. Halloween's coming in in a month. You know. Oh. Uh, we'll I'm, well, yeah. I mean, I assume we'll have to we'll have to see. Maybe they'll delay Halloween until November. Like, don't forget to get your that? candy corn gobblers this year. Uh, oh, didn't yeah. they? Didn't they change them or something? Someone was saying on Friday that they had changed the candy corn gobblers. Someone said that that they increased the cooldown, but it's fake news. Oh, I think someone immediately then said it was fake news afterwards. So, I believe mm -hmm. that is not the case. I'd be really sad. And that's twenty. That's twenty-four, twenty-eight, and thirty-two. So, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, those so bags, you have to craft gotta get 24s them. into 28s, 28s into 32s, apparently. Yeah. Oh. So you gotta, like, tear it up. Yeah. Fun yeah, times. Got an image I love to tear up. So it is so 22, 24, 28. Yeah, and then that 32. Is so, and that then is send it, it back. That is just AIDS. It's, it's yeah, really, somebody said, really expensive. Somebody said it's a lot like doing infusions. So, yeah. there you go. A 32 slot bag costs at least 200 gold. I'll wait a while. I mean, it's not like I need. I mean, it why? Pay. I guess. I guess if you really do have gold and you don't want anything to do with gold, uh, then sure, you can. It's, a, it's, it's another gold sink. Hey, I've got five k gold. Don't tempt me, man. I can. I mean, there's gonna be legendaries Act coming. Yoga? Yeah, there's gonna I was be gonna say, legendary yeah. trinkets coming. Like, how long until like, you think we got some new path of fire based uh, legendaries? We're not getting season one. 
It, no, season, no. Or Living Story Episode 1, you think, Season 5, or whatever. I, I would love some. I think they can make some really cool designs. A lot of the new weapon skins, I don't know if you've seen any of the, um, like, the funerary ones um, from the Tomb of Primeval Kings. They're all, like, Cobra. They, they got to do with Cobras. I think those look pretty cool. I just want the Choyer on a stick, man. That's the best one. That's a good one. <laughs> Is that a that'll weapon a, skin? That'll yeah, be it's a, a weapon. Legendary. It's a hammer, right? Wasn't it, I think. Oh, I didn't know it's that. A hammer. Yeah. I mean, I think they could do some pretty cool designs with, you know, Pathfire sort of themed... Weapons. Well, I thought, and I, I know Nike tweeted about this too. I thought Balthazar's sword was going to be a legendary. But I no. said there was a 50 50 chance <laughs> it was going to be a legendary. And the, and the, the other 50 being a gemstone. <laughs> He's got the skin. black line. And it was right. It was a gemstone skin. It, yeah. So, yeah. In Those look pretty good, though. The war that set is really good. nice. But. Yeah. Got, those are looking nice. But, I mean, I think it would be cool, you know, you, to make a sort of, you know, a, like collection for the new legendaries. You have to use your mounts to get you know, a mock or, or to complete or something. You know, they could tie it in with that. I mean, even if it's not a Path of Fire legendary, you know. Well, they'll, like, the, lately they've been, like, tying them to the story, like, thematically. Right. So right. it'll probably keep that going. 50 bits, nice. Just get ready for your Aurene Greatsword. That oh, God. Joke, <laughs> joke legendary. <laughs> I think, um, I do think there's going to be, like, a legendary trinket for the next season, season yeah. four. And then maybe one for raids. Oh, so you, you need. Think Rage is, do you think Rage is going to be a trinket or a mount? Legendary mount. Pro- that would be cool. Uh, I would go for a, amulets. Probably, yeah, I would say amulet. I don't know, man. I'm I'm just waiting on the uh, the underwater mount for the underwater content. You don't need it. So, you can skimmer. You can just go over. Yeah, but you can't go underwater, Teapot. You that explore all the. You need a underwater. seahorse, Teapot. Come on. A seahorse. Oh my God, no! <laughs> that would be awful. <laughs> What game was that that had a seahorse? What WoW has that? What of Warcraft has that? Was it WoW? Was it WoW that had yeah. the seahorse? Yeah. <laughs> There's a seahorse for the underwater stuff, but only in one specific zone. Under the sea. Whoa. Yep. It's going to yeah, burst wait. into song there, Inks, I think. That's yeah. what's going to happen there. Nice. Uh, nice. Could ride a shark mount. Yeah. Uh, seahorse would be amazing. I mean. <laughs> Underwater expansion. Don't tempt them. No, we're not doing an underwater expansion. Oh, I hope we're not doing an underwater expansion. A seahorse uh, themed mount. Uh, that- they could just they could flood Lion's Arch again and make it an underwater. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Easy. Yeah. They're gonna Easy have to, to make funny. They're gonna have to add uh, some kind of effect toggle for these legendaries though, because otherwise Inks' character is just gonna look absolutely horrible. <laughs> I mean, I'm not quite there yet, but you, I'm getting there. Your character already ha- it has a lot of AIDS particle effects, things, but when there's a oh, full set of now. legendary trinkets, it's just going to be so much. Uh, I have it that... now so that when I switch weapons, when I'm green, and then I switch to orange. So he just switches colors every time I, I That's weapon That's awful. Swap. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I feel bad for anyone who watches your stream. Like, yeah. <laughs> what's, well, what's really terrible is anytime I preview something for a video, I've got to put him in an outfit and take his weapons and stuff off because <laughs> you can't see anything. Otherwise, everything's uh, just corrupted. <laughs> someone someone uh, pointed out there is the underwater dragon, so assuming they eventually get around to that dragon, that's an underwater expansion right there. There you go. Hype. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, doesn't look happy about that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we're clearly that, going that to the next yeah. expansion to Cantha. I mean, yeah, that, that would be great. Yeah, that would be you awesome. Can, you can lock it in. I'm calling it now. Yeah. Cantha is next. Cantha? Yeah. Okay. Well, a lot of yeah, people are calling Cantha next. I mean, it Roy. makes it makes sense. Like, what else? What else? Yeah, well, where else can we go? Char Homelands. Char Homelands. Home yeah. 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 No one wa- No one likes Char. Like, what? Uh, I like Char. I made Char. <laughs> okay, that's because you got the world bewilder. Shut up, Nike. Like, this, no one likes the story of Char. It's like they're <laughs> wow. No, they uh, they're, they were oppressed and they rose up and women, yeah. female equality and yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like well. modern world. What you, don't you like about Phoenix's that? Phoenix's main was a Char thief, dude. Yeah. Exposed. Char thief. Explain. I, I, so yeah, I, yeah, I think to... Char Homelands is definitely a place that they can go I, yet, I, I but can't uh, I still I'm... think Kanth is going to be next regardless. But yeah. Probably. That would make sense. Yeah. The season four will be all around the desert, you know? Yeah. yeah. But, uh, I mean, what else can we talk about the expansion? Because, I mean, who cares about two years from now? I will talk about the story, but not today. No, yeah, we don't want to don't really spoil yeah. anything. Yeah. Uh, like, next week. Uh, my guilds like they're very casual players they're just on the second map like today so yeah <laughs> that's me that's me I'm I'm, yeah. I'm on the second map I guess you're I mean like... I've been I've been to 
I've been as far as the desolation, but not for story. Mm. Just to get the mount? No, I didn't even get the mounts. I just went there just to see where oh. I could go and where I couldn't go. Right, right. I yeah, wanted I to get away from players on day one. I was just like, the, as soon as I encountered players, I was like, nope, I'm out of here. Next map. Bye. <laughs> Inks, Inks the antisocial man. Inks is just going through a lot of different... <laughs> see you later. <laughs> ...personalities right yeah, now. Inks is, Inks is toxic, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. I started doing yeah. a heart somewhere, and like seven or eight people showed up. I was like, nope, crowded. I'm out. See you guys see, later. See, see you later. And he's, <laughs> you got social awkwardness, Inks. It's just like fractals, right? It's fractals. Oh, yeah. Tonic had some fun with, with social awkwardness yesterday when he was doing his fractals. Oh? Yeah. Oh, bye, yeah. funny. Yeah. <laughs> I don't no. know, man. I, I, this is the problem. Like, I honestly don't have a lot of uh, bad stuff to say about the expansion, except for like, the rocky start. Like, everything else, the content is great. The maps are great. I had a lot of fun playing through the story, playing through the maps. The mounts are fun to use. The elite specs are all awesome, even if the, the balance is a little bit wonky. Like, I can't shake talk the game, guys. I'm sorry. This is what it's come to. Like, I, the only person... The, the, there's only one man who could save us in this tea time, guys. And that will be Brazil. Brazil. Okay. He, yeah, see, <laughs> Ings already knows, man. The, the only person yeah. who could possibly have, have talked enough shit about the expansion to keep the tea time high energy and going for like, we could have done like a three hour tea time with Brazil, man, but he, 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 he wasn't down, man. He wasn't down, sorry. So I don't know. Well, we could have. Never, there's, uh, yeah. there's too much sand. I don't like it. Too, yeah, yes. <laughs> Ugh, sand. We need more water. Oh, wait. Lord, it doesn't allow I, it. I have a question. Why does my rabbit. Kangaroo jackal make goat sounds. Yeah, someone mentioned that it doesn't sound like. I mean, what the rabbit sound like? But uh, I guess it's not really a rabbit. It's got a long ass tail. It's. A I mean, I know it's a hybrid. It's but a hybrid it's, build. It's, it's apparently it part goat between? as well. It's a What's bunny goat a kangaroo hybrid. I was I was just sitting there doing something, and all of a sudden it started making these goat sounds. I'm like, why the hell is it making goat sounds? Yeah, every time, on? every time you move it. All right, let's see. Uh, okay, here's a complaint that's very Reddit-like. It's probably already on there. Ooh. Why is there only one die channel on the mounts? I need yes. to be able to okay, completely yeah. customize my mount. Yeah, that's really Shadow weird. Abyss, all four that's slots. That's game-breaking. Completely <laughs> black. Come on. <laughs> I, I'm a, I would like you on this one. Yeah. Need, because there, there should be at least two die channels. Come on. Yeah, there Don't. should be two, but they're going to sell you that on the gem store. Yes, gem I'll store. I'll another die skins. channel for 3,000 gems. I mean, mount gems. skins are obvious. Like, That's gonna I mean, that, station, yeah. it won't be that they sell you the die channel. It's just going to be like, this skin has two die channels or three die channels. You know right? what, man? I'm okay with that. I want I want more skins. Let's go. I mean, it's Fashion Wars 2. What else is there to do in this game except customize everything as much yeah. as possible? Yeah. yeah. Feels good. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I wonder if uh, I wonder if on Tuesday they'll start selling us mount skins. How long do you think it's going to take? Uh, not long at all. That that and that is a it's it's a good. That's basically what's going to be funding the next expansion is going to be mount skins. Let's be honest, yeah. Uh, people are going to log in. People are going to sorry. Yeah, rip have a mount in. skin. Yeah. <laughs> people are going to eat that up, man. People are going to love mount skins. That's they're, yep. yeah. They're going to be all over it. Uh, and yeah, and I really, I, I hope that it won't be like gliders and you'll never be able to get any of them in the game, but I also suspect that it'll be exactly <laughs> oh, like God. gliders and you no, won't be able to get them in the game. They don't, yeah, they're not going to do that. If, if that somebody, really, it'll be a miracle if we get something, it's a, for like a, I don't know, I guess there might be one because we had PvP back piece and World vs. World back piece, right? And even, even Fractal back piece. So like maybe you have a mount linked to all the game modes as well, maybe. You could ride, maybe. you could imagine a raptor, but it's made out of fractal weapons, okay? That would be kind of cool. Or, I want a char car as a raptor skin. A springer, a, yeah, yeah, a char car. Like, you, yeah, you can have the dog, but it's a char car, right? Play for World vs. World. Okay, let's see, what yeah. else can we do? For PvP, char car could you, be can, raptor. you can have, like, balance whiners, but it's made into a mount. They've all been, like, mangled together into a mount. Like, all the flamers, all the toxic people in, in, in the ghost gamers have been mangled but, together. Uh, what would you think about mounts in World vs. World? A couple people mentioned it. I would disable I think, some, but... Yeah, you need to... You would need to... Well, obviously not the, not the Griffin, of course. Um, uh, well, Bunny as well. Like, I, I mean, that's I just gonna be over the wall. Raptors over like, the yeah. wall. The, the engage skills are really OP. Like, yes. the, the yeah, Bunny you, you engage would... skill is, and would be insane in World v. World. You just you spike damage. Yeah. You like, couldn't have the CC the skills. hell out of a Zerg, yeah, it would be nuts. Well, and fall damage, too, right? Yeah. You, you couldn't have to disable the fall damage. Although, yeah. 
I mean, if they made it so you can only use mounts in your territories like you do with gliding, although, again, I, the maps are so small, I don't know if mounts are even going to be a thing, or would need to be a thing, you know? There's not really much of a point. I think it would, yeah, it would be fun for, be fun a, for yeah. Desert, though. Yeah. yeah. I think it would give a really, really heavy, even heavier defender's advantage, though, because if you can just, if you can, say, use, like, the Raptor Leap, or even just be really fast, just to it really yeah, quickly just to get back, yeah. Uh, I don't think mounts in World of Shield make sense. Yeah, I think it will be. I think it will be probably a little bit broken unless they really tone it down. So it's like they don't go that fast, and you can't use any of the abilities or anything like that. Otherwise, I don't think it's yeah. going to happen. Yeah, they'd have to strip the ability, strip the fall damage. But I mean, it and... took it took two years to get gliding into World of Shield. Who knows? Yeah, it gliding <laughs> yeah. worked out well. Gliding worked out well. Yeah. With, uh... with the with the territory system, it was it's okay, right? Well, it's uh, not. Well, I don't think they updated it, so it you know you, you shouldn't know, be able to glide in combat. But yeah. yeah. Mm. Yeah, I also think that's combat's kind of a problem, but yeah, other than that, it's okay. Mm. Or, like, the initial gliding was also bad, like, you could jump on, like, the small hill next to, on EB, like, next to... And then get the... into Overwatch, right? If they do yeah. it, it's if just... they do it, it would be a special Reverse World mount line that wouldn't yeah. have to do anything with the other masteries. And then yeah, maybe cosmetically, like... they'll let you ride. If you want to be on a bunny rather than a raptor, then it doesn't really mean anything. It's just looks, you know? Makes sense. Something oh. like that, probably. Speaking about that, what about multi per people mounts? Like you oh, can have yeah. trend. That, that, get ready for the gem School store. Bus mount? Oh, gem transport. store. Get ready for the gem store. Because that means, oh, think how good that is for selling the expansion, man. Because like, you get your friend who doesn't have Path of Fire. And you say, hey, get on this they mount. Did that. They did that with World of Warcraft. Let's do map completion. Right? Like, yeah, yeah exactly. Car, right? And then Give they realize taxi. how much fun it is to play, use the mounts. Yeah. Oh, I wish I could do this. Yeah. Well, for thirty dollars, you can. Yeah. I mean, they're like already selling ramen. it. Now you can go to Lion's Arch with your Griffin and fly around, yeah. and people yeah. are like, "Oh yeah. my God, I gotta buy yeah, this!" Yeah, yeah, I yeah, need yeah. that mount. Yeah. I, yeah. You know. There you go. Clown car. That's right. We need a clown car. <laughs> Just yeah, 50 uh, yeah. salt members yeah, exactly. just come out of the car at the same time. <laughs> a, a guild yeah. mount that can yeah, hold 50 yeah. people. <laughs> that, would, that would obviously be like people's, people's worst well, nightmare, man. Why are we 50 at it? salt just burst out and start going crazy and spamming stuff. That would, yeah, that would be a massive fiesta. That would be awful. Yeah, we're getting into territory, not talking about mounts, but maybe can, like, even airships, maybe? As, like, a guild mount, kind of? A giant but airship. I mean, yeah, the there should be an airship like, guild hall. That would be so sick. Yeah, that would, I would be like really that. cool, actually. Yeah, and and no barriers anywhere. So if you're fighting in the arena, you fall all the way off the airship. That would be great. <laughs> Real question: Can you access raids with only POF? And if yes, what do you do when you need gliding? The quite simple question is: Like the POF raids won't require gliding. They might require mounts, though. Um, and honestly, oh. I think they they might not put masteries in. Um, in, right. Except they won't put masteries in. I don't think. I don't think it will be necessary. They might make like a like a thing like in Wing Two where there's like a wall that's really high and you can only get up it if you have the rabbit. So there's like, like a secret like, there or something like a secret that you can only access. Well, no, to. just like after Sloth, if you don't have bouncing mushrooms, you can't get up to to Trio unless you have the bouncing mushroom master. And you can't you can't really or get Mesmer. anywhere. You can't do. Or Mesmer to portal you. Like they can also hide lore bits, right? You know, collect these pages, but you need to have. X mount to get to a particular area to get those pages or whatever. Yeah, that would be like okay. that. Um, someone was asking what we think, like what people think about uh, the Griffin costing 250 gold as opposed to just technically being free, like the other mounts. I think it's okay. I mean, it's a pretty, it's a unique mount. You know, none of the other mounts can Wait, do it. Wait, doesn't does. somebody tell me the jackal costs like 20 gold? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, to to buy the item, but I mean, you you have to consider that it's one time purchase for your entire account, so. Like, 250 gold is not that much anyway. Yeah. That, I, mean, that's I don't think it's... Or... I don't know. I don't think it's that bad. What is What is the mount cost in WoW? Wasn't it like a 2,000 gold, like 5,000 gold? for some of them. It's pretty well, expensive. Whatever. Yeah, and also, like, for the super, super casual players that, like, log in once a week and play for an hour, like, that, the the Griffin's, like, their end game content. Like, yeah, that, sure, like, yeah. going at, like... Like two hundred fifty gold for these people for those people is going to be a lot of gold. So it's like, for them, that is a legendary mount, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think, you know, I don't really think that's that bad. It's not like you have to have the Griffin to do any of the other content. The, all the other mounts will get get you and do whatever you need, right? So, yeah, it's just like working on a legendary or something. But cheaper, really. 250 gold is much less than a legendary. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's not. I hear, yeah, I hear a cat. Bad. Yeah, it's my. It's my male cat. <laughs> Your male cat. Thanks for yeah. specifying. Yeah. Um, so, someone. Uh, so, if you didn't know, there is a Griffin Mount in one of the maps, Ooh. which you can unlock. It's two hundred fifty gold to unlock. Yeah, I think you have to do the story, right? You have to finish the story to unlock yes. the collection for it. Um, and then it also costs two hundred fifty gold, and you have to do a lot of stuff for it. There's like some legendary bounties. I think you have to complete. Um, but, and it's one. it's essentially kind of like a glider. You, it it sort of allows you to fly if you have it fully mastered. It sort of doesn't. But the really unique thing about it is you can open it up or you can mount it, I guess, while you're in midair, unlike the other ones. So, so yeah, that's that's that. But yeah, yeah and there's really nothing that's gated by the Griffin. Is one thing to add. Yeah. Like there's yeah, no like yeah. mastery oh, point yeah. you can't get to. Or there's no like there's no rewards that like you can't get without the Griffin, so it's not like something you have you have to have. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if oh, you play I, the I game like it. hardcore, you have to have it. But, yeah, yeah, but like I think it's, it's fine. Like, like you know, unlike in in that's HOT be... where it was like, oh, you don't have ley line gliding. Well, I guess you're never gonna have map completion. Yeah, it feels bad, man. See, see ya. Uh, it's definitely the abusable. It's be definitely new... shortcuts, but you don't need it. You don't hunt. You don't need it to do everything. Griffin will be the new raid requirement for LFG. So if if you join an LFG and you don't have the Griffin, you get kicked. Yeah. That's a new kill proof. Yeah. The thing, the thing is though, that's another great thing about the way the mounts are, and the masteries are designed here. Right? There's multiple ways you can approach getting to places in multiple ways with different mounts, right? Then maybe that's not totally intentional, whereas you can just jump over everything with the bunny. Maybe not <laughs> quite intentional, but you know, you can actually use different mounts to get to the same place, right? There's different routes you can get to get to the same place, which is I think that's a really great feature having that. Um, like multiple different paths you can <coughs> navigate, not multiple ways you can get through. Like, the joy of movement, guys, okay? As, as, as ArenaNet would say, <laughs> the joy of movement. So that, that's another great piece of design, like, if it's intentional. If it's not intentional, then I don't know. That It's still good either way, but I don't know. It's still pretty cool. Who knows? Who knows? Mm. Is that really it, though, man? Have we, have we done the entire expansion? Yeah, you'll have to get Deroyer yeah. and Wooden Potatoes next yeah. week to spoil well, everyone. No, wait, whoa, whoa, like, dude, like, I, I, that would be a 24-hour stream. Let's, let's do <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we can a do that. A could just go to sleep while they could yeah. keep talking. Yeah. Yeah. Make up I, and yeah. Chair stream, about. let's go. I, yeah, I can just do a, I can just go about my business. I'll leave those guys to get excited over, yeah. <laughs> over like, a rock they found on the ground somewhere, you know? Like, that, that will be, <laughs> that will be pretty intense, actually, but. Yeah. Oh, the stats. Oh, we did. We yeah. did talk about the new stat combinations. Stats. Yeah, that's true. Basically, they they mostly suck as far as we're aware right now. Um, there's some weird yeah. ones like the power healing power concentration one. It's like, I don't know. Oh, and I guess might with the new be used, but not specific. With the new stats, I, I mean, it I might guess, make yeah. might make regen druid a thing again. Yeah. But, but who knows? There's the new sigils and runes as well, but none of them looked that good either. None of them particularly interesting. Yeah, Renegade Room is the only one that's going to be anything in PvE. I'm yeah, pretty sure. Uh, so someone's asking if a new player to Guild Wars 2 should jump in now, or if they'd be rather swamped, unwelcome by the expansion. No, that's, I don't think that's true. Quite I, the opposite. The thing, the thing about Guild Wars 2 is you can you can really start at any point. Like yeah. you know, there's not really you don't have to be having played for five years, and also all of the new content is technically soluble. So if you don't have new players, I mean, except for maybe some of the legendary bounties, but there's going to be other players doing them anyways. So yeah, you can just jump right in, really. I think, and I mean, it's fifty dollars, right, for Heart of Thorns, the core game, and yeah. Path of Fire. I Not think. bad so at it's, all. Yeah, it's. I mean, if you haven't ever played it before, or you're pretty new to, yeah, you can just get right in there. I mean. You're not going to be able to do everything as fast as other people, obviously, and you might be confused by some stuff. But there's a lot of guides out there. Um, you get a level 80 boost immediately, so yeah, I'd say definitely try it out. Um, again, the content's I, awesome. Yeah, don't boost to level 80. Right. Yes. No, yeah, obviously, you should first character boost. level yeah, the never, right way. Yeah. Second character boost to 80. Yeah, completely yeah. agree. A lot of, of my guildies discovered that Ranger is not a good DPS after they boosted to level 80. Uh, so. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but and yeah. ask for help too. I mean, you're gonna get some troll answers, but there's a lot of people willing it's to help. Very out. friendly people, and you'll be fine. And uh, this is the yeah, best time to get into the game, man. The best time. Avoid to get into anyone game. with assault tag, and you'll be okay. Hey, wait a minute. Salt are <laughs> it's very fine. Friendly. I'm not representing so it's salt. Salt are <laughs> very, very friendly people. We're, we're yeah, the yeah. wonderful salt community. Right? Wonderful, wonderful salt, yeah. community. Yeah. Wonderful salt community, man. Yeah, it'll be great. Yeah, you can get into the game anytime. Perfect time, even. There's, there's fresh content. Yeah, it, it really is the best time now, I the think. The best with, time. Yeah. Yeah. 
with is. the expansion, yeah, I'd say it's, it's the best. Because there's going to be a lot, there's already going to be new people. You're not going to be the only new player, and there'll be a lot of players trying to help you out. I'd say. Everybody will be, everybody's pretty much experiencing it at the same time. And yeah. really, if you buy today, uh, you haven't missed anything because nobody's been able to log in. I just so. realized we're the marketing, <laughs> just... we're the marketing team for ArenaNet, aren't we? Yes. We're we're in its entire marketing team right here, boys. Well, apart from the far, apart from the the part at the start of the stream where we basically just said, like <laughs> the, 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 the launch was shit. Off. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You you remember that? Like it, it started. We, off we said it with yeah. love, though. It yeah. was if you love. are new to the game, make an account on NA. You, yes, no you matter what, it. because you can actually play. The servers work. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, ignore no, the I, servers I, on EU will be fine I soon. I just checked. I, I can log in now. Um, or I was able to log in like half an hour ago, so. Yes. Yeah, I think it's okay. Go. See, it's They wanted to give NA a head start, so they uh, they let them play yeah. easier and more smoothly yeah. the first time through. Yeah, someone said yesterday, yeah, it's because EU is so much better than NA, they had to break their servers to make them unequal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, oh boy. <laughs> Uh, it was like indeed. the new Raid Wing release, and like, oh, we we need to be, you know, world first. But oh wait, servers are not working. Oh, they're working for NA. Hmm. <laughs> well, that was I'm, fun. Yeah. NA connection greater than EU, I guess. It feels bad. Well, you you uh, got closer servers. What can yeah. I say? <laughs> NA servers are better. Hey, I play on EU, man. <laughs> oh well. Yeah. Anyway, but, anyway uh, back to the stats. The stats, guys. Okay. Okay, the stats. I so Harriers is the power, boon duration, healing power, which, I don't know, may be good for regen druid, uh, but I don't know anyone else that would want want that. Then there's the, is, that other the really weird four stat one that's like power and healing power main stat, and then like con condi damage and, and precision secondary stat. Yeah, it doesn't like, really seem... Marshall... Power, yeah, marshals. Yeah. I'd say if power, it wasn't precision, if it was something else, like maybe guardian could use that, but it doesn't really seem that useful for anything. Yeah. Some weird stat combos there. Yeah, I was kind of I was having a discussion with people about this. Like they, there's so many good obvious stat combos they could have gone with, like berserkers with boon duration. Like that's what everyone wanted. That everyone expected it. It was like so so obvious, but. For some reason, they are really against like these obvious stat combinations. Like they're going with kind of random ones, like throwing a dartboard against a a wall of different stats and picking yeah. that way. It just and Dark and I guess the the argument is they don't want they don't want to give us perfect stats. Like they don't want to go, oh, well, that would be too good. It would just no one would ever use anything else. Well, it's like well, no we already have that. Just, yeah, we already have that with Berserker. Like that's the perfect essentially power stat for PvE, like, it's it's perfect. It has all, it's three stats, and it's exactly what you want. Well, why can't we have that for Condi? Like, why, why is it that power gets its ideal, optimal stat set, but Condi doesn't? Or why doesn't healing power get its optimal stat set? So, but, or, or Boonder, like, why doesn't a Boon support character get its optimal stat set? So, it's just odd that, that now the new design philosophy is you can never have anything perfect. Like your stats are always going to be a compromise, but they, but we have stats in the game that aren't compromised at all. Like uh, if the the current design paradigm, like they could have, it would be as if Berserkers doesn't exist and Assassins is the best power stat. And if you want a power main stat, you have to go with like Assassins gear and then use Valkyrie like for the rest of the pieces. Like and that would be your best, most optimal power stat. But just, it makes no sense. Like, why don't we have a three stat Condi set? Just, uh, it makes no sense. And it's just, it's a waste of design time to implement these stats that no one's ever going to use, like marshals. Like, no one's ever going to use them. So, and someone spent at least a day on it. I'm sure. I'm sure. Some it's, day it's, it's it weird. Like, you wonder what. It. Sorry to interrupt you, Nike, but you wonder what professions or builds they had in mind when they were yeah, these things. You would right? think they had a use case in, in, it was in mind a, it, for everything. It was boots. Boots was yeah. good. <laughs> it was a bad one. They watched videos. Bad yeah. <laughs> and they were like, brilliant! That's what we're gonna add. 
<laughs> they consulted him. They could. Yeah. We just haven't seen it yet. That's why like, we haven't that's seen. Why it. They... That's why he's yeah. not here. He yeah, he's yet. working. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we're better stuff, yet. All his vacations just a ploy. He's been developing new stat types for Arena for his builds. Or better yet, they're just like, let's see what you can do with this, Boots. <laughs> um, you actually made something good out of Seraphs? Oh, yeah, what? Yeah. Well, that was too good. Here, let me give you something even worse. <laughs> Figure that out. Oh, my God. That would be, yeah, be great. That would be great. Compared, compared to these stats, Seraphs actually looks like really good. Decent, yeah. Yeah, you're like, wow, I can really do a lot with that. Like. Firebrand Seraph, not bad. Like you can make an argument that it works really well, but, but mm. these I mean uh, the Grievers is obviously the one that has the most chance, but yeah. the precision is so weird on Seraph though. That, that's if it was if it was not precision it would probably be better. Or if they made it like minor instead of a major, I don't know. It's just such a or is it already minor? I don't know. Like precision on Seraph is really weird. But yeah, Griever. Grieving is that's gotta be the one that could have some potential, at least in PvE, right? There's gotta be some way that can be useful. Get that extra ferocity on classes that already do some good, uh... But, 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 for it to work, you have to be a class that only does one condi, really. Because then you can use the runes and sigils just to max it out. And you also have to do quite a lot of power damage as well to make the ferocity worth. Like, is that Yeah, and you have to have a 100% crit chance, which is basically rev. Re but rev is multiple condis, is the problem. Yeah. And like, if rev did, like, firebrand burning, then... Okay, then you'd have the 100% crit cap and the one single condi, but nothing now does that, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe, maybe NG, you could what, uh, do like a hollow What is Grievers? Map. What stats are Grievers? Power and condi main stat, ferocity, precision, secondary. I mean, someone said power DH. That's. I don't. I don't think so. No. I think. I think. I mean, you do. You do a. a you don't do as much burning damage on power. I'm, oh, I actually that's not because because yeah, there's there's but... the balance is so precise. Yeah. Like if it's if it if it's if your build is biased towards power a little bit, then you're better off going all in on power. And if you're yeah. build and with like flame legion runes or even scholar, if your build really is, have a hybrid. is if it's slightly biased to condi, you're better off going all in on the condi. Like the the window of opportunity for a hybrid build to exist is is just by nature small. Like a hybrid like there, build. There there is there is a window of opportunity, but it just doesn't like the the traits and skills yeah. that we have I mean, don't fit it yet. The closest you get to hybrid builds is in well that I've seen is in World versus World with like Necro running Selly or or even Revenant running Selly because you know those those class and Guardian I guess kind of but not as much. Those those classes use, but that's World vs. World again. You know you're not. Yeah. Always going for the, as the highest DPS you can because you're you're doing other things as well um, yeah. on those those classes those builds so yeah it's not not as relevant I think so that's why those those stat combos don't really work yeah but um, yeah I, I saw like a uh, I think it was either Cat or Nox they said that for Grievers to be better than Sinister you have to do at least thirty percent of your damage as as power and seventy percent Condi so. But there's no there's no build in the game that does that. Like even Condi NG, which has like the highest power damage, I think, of any Condi build, is only like twenty percent power. So it doesn't <laughs> it, not, such a thing doesn't exist yet. And NG's got a bunch yeah. of Condis as well. It's not just one Condi. It's got a whole bunch yeah. of Condis on NG. Maybe Hollow Smith. It's a lot of burning. You could like maybe maximize the burning this place. But then I don't know. I mean, maybe Condi Weaver, Condi Weaver would would have that. But I, I don't know. Um, anything about the new, any of the new food that's interesting? Someone yeah, asked. Super, super, super cheap pizza. Yeah. Super pizza. cheap pizza. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? The rare veggie, rare veggie pizza. pizza. Super cheap. Oh. You can get it for like half price now. Yeah, it's good. New Until recipe. red lentils go up, invest heavily. Yeah. Go, go. Mark, wow, nice market <laughs> manipulation. Oh, wow. Whoa. Bye, Bailey. Oh, I, I wonder if Nike has I a bunch of I tried to market manipulate the... Mystic Coins earlier, and no one got debated <laughs> by it. Like... Well, I, I told you you could buy me. Um, I, you know, it's, I'm not going to buy it myself. But, yeah, I, I haven't really seen any of the new food, actually. Um, but I guess not. No. Yeah. But, yeah, none, none of the new runes, none of the new sigils seem like they're really going to be meta. Um, I don't think. There's an alacrity kind of sigil, there's an uh, extra ferocity and precision sigil, which might be good in World vs. World. This sigil is like, yeah, 250. It's like a, yeah. it's a pretty big amount of stats, but it's only for a few seconds, and I don't think yeah. it's really going to be that useful. But 
some of the new runes have the, like the concentration instead of like the flat boon duration, which is making it slightly weird. Well, it makes them bad uh, pretty much, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> like just yeah, like the one rune I think yeah, it just added one hundred concentration. It's like six point six, right? Uh, boon duration or that's yeah, nothing. Uh, that just means that yeah, be better versus gonna be better. That just means that durability, then, like all the older ones, need to watch out, right? Like the the nerf bats coming for them, you know? Like they got yeah. yeah. people. Yeah, I'm, I, I their leadership runes that they spent eight hours getting are gonna be yeah. Um, the uh, the items you get that are like double click to get a small amount of karma. A lot of them are used for collections, but so far I I don't know if you have to have the collection unlocked or not for it to count. Um, I mean, I, I'm assuming you do. I don't know if, if you unlock the collection later on and you already consumed it, it'll count. But if you have the collection unlocked and you consume it, then it does count for the collection. Um, but you might be better off saving them if you know it's for a collection you want to unlock. I don't really know. I, I am sure you can get the items again, though. I mean, I've already gotten duplicates of them um, before, so... I, I think if you if you use it and you end up needing it for a collection later on, you should be able to get it again. So I would just say open it up and... There you go. Yeah, uh, you do get a lot of those. What are the I mean, What are I, the stats that we got? Yeah, you do. You get a lot of little things you can click on. It's kind that of was it. We only got three. Yeah, was, we, uh, yeah wasn't it's just there a fourth? Stats. Wasn't there a fourth? There wasn't no, a fourth. I think it was just three. I, I, was just I was really? like, oh, that was the first thing I checked when I logged in. I went to my legendaries yeah. and clicked to see what. And I'm like, where's the fourth? I couldn't yeah, find it. It was just oh, three. Maybe they Maybe they forgot it. Maybe that's the best stat combo. We just haven't seen it. Yeah. It's a hidden stat combination. You have to like, it's, it. it's like the mount. Mm. It's like, like the griffin. The yeah, there's it's a like hidden the stat. I yeah, wouldn't put it past gonna be, them. I wouldn't it's going to be them, hidden uh, in the next update. It's a 2k gems to unlock in the gems. <laughs> oh, <God>. There's <laughs> a hidden little button you have to press on. To, yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> okay, no inscriptions, yeah. insignias. Just buy this for 200 gems. It's account by unlock for... Just picking the stats, do it. Is, is Healing Firebrand decent? Healing Firebrand, it, well, so, yeah, it's this, It's the meta for World vs. World. Um, mm. I don't think, it won't be meta for PvP, obviously, um, I don't think. But, uh, and I obviously, I don't think it'll be meta for PvE, but um, definitely for World vs. World. It's the strongest support now, I think, in the game. Yeah, it is. I mean, it, after the buffs, it is very, very strong. It, yeah, it's ridiculous. It's I mean, very, it, very brutal. They put it to Counter Scourge. They, they put it in that... Uh, Tempest kind of might still be meta, but it I mean it's not gonna be as needed, I guess, is the word. It's I'm kinda overshadowed by Firebrand because yeah. of the like the how fast. I mean, Fire, the Firebrand just does everything. It yeah. it's it gives you all the boons you need. Uh it teaches you to play Bunker Firebrand. Yeah, I mean you can play Bunker Firebrand now in PvP, I think, because people don't really know how to counter it as much. It's like what we were saying before. But um I don't know if it'll be meta. And again, that's just random ranked cues, you know, like uh, if, when I talk about meta for PvP, I'm talking about like tournaments, uh, monthly ATs and stuff. Support Firebrand. Yeah, support Firebrand is, is a real thing. It's not a meme. Yeah. <laughs> it's not yeah. a meme. No memes yeah. here, guys. I mean, Guardian's always been support for World vs. World, right? And Firebrand is just a better support uh, class. So, what tournaments? Uh, the UGO? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> and the ATs! The automated <laughs> tournaments, guys. Come on, man. Well. Oh, did it start or not, actually? No, they, it, it didn't. No, it's going to be next Saturday. <laughs> they moved oh. the monthly AT to next Saturday. Oh, of course. Yeah, the, DCs, yeah. the DCs made it. Oh, so okay. Some so people it could, just didn't, yeah, there were, couldn't there were some people and... able to sign up, but there, like the, the top yeah. team on NA couldn't sign up, um, and I think there was a team on a top team on EU who couldn't sign up either, so they what? just moved it next week. Ah, oh, well. you, oh you get a moon instead of a crown now. Oh, what, one up, I did say which meta I was talking about, dude. Yeah. I said for World of What do they get this time? A moon? Yeah, yeah champions. Yeah, there's different uh, first ones. It was the, first it was the crown, then the sun, then the moon. Yeah. There's a new little thingy thingy you can get every time. You gotta collect them all. Well, I guess you can't collect them all. Or, because... well, I mean, only only one oh. region got the crown, but... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the first Woo! time. <laughs> it's for got, to, got to keep it, I should say. I, it's, it's how it works, man. Oh, goodness. Four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. We have man. season four and new raids. No, uh, TOA. No, they haven't said when they're releasing it, but probably soon. I mean, how long did it? I get, was was the first raid wing released with Heart of Thorns immediately, or did it, it a month it, after? No. It's a month after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'll probably be about a month. About the same. Now, I think. And then live, and then I would say that season four will be 
like a month after that, maybe, or something like that. Yeah, so we'll just keep keep going. Obviously, there'll probably be a break over the over the holiday period, over the, the Christmas holiday period. I would imagine because you know, yeah. people are doing things, then celebrating, getting Wouldn't presents. Wouldn't it be awesome? Wouldn't it be awesome if they had uh, for Winter's Day the the snowman? You remember the snowman dungeon from Guild Wars? Yeah, yeah. If that was, if yeah, that was a raid, secret lair of the snowman is a raid. Yeah, was, yeah, we, we, raid, we were talking about this awesome. last year, man. Like, oh, oh man, imagine if they I just that, imagine man. if they just dropped uh, they just dropped that, the, that on so us they, as a surprise. They just put the lair of the snowman raid boss. That would be so good. Oh my yeah. god, that would be that would actually be great. Did the patch notes have something about raids? No. No. Just bug fixes. Yeah. Oh, also, n not anything with dungeons. Uh, Have you seen, seen the scam that is the Elonian introductory package? Uh, yeah, I, I don't buy any of those starter packages yeah. from the gems. What was, what was, like, what's the like, scam about it, or what was? It's like what's five the black issue? lion keys, probably, and like some other crap for a thousand gems or something. Like, yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm wondering why people say it's a scam. It's not really a scam. Like, it's not like they're lying to you. It's not like they're like, oh, buy this for this amount of gems, and they don't give it to you. It's yeah. just. If you, don't, if you don't want it, don't buy it. It probably just doesn't have very good stuff in it. It's probably got some like really weird, useless stuff like bags in it or something. 18 cell bags. It's probably not. It's probably just not good value, I would say. Probably. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Doesn't seem like a good value to me. Yeah. Mm. Really it's bad for 1800. Fair enough. Yeah. Targeted for new players. It would be fine, maybe for 1k. I wouldn't pay 1.8k for yeah. this. Yeah. So there you go. If you don't, Phoenix is spoken. Not worth. <laughs> Not worth it. All right. All right. So, I think that's about it, man. I think that's about it. It's time. It? Without without yeah. spoiling the story, without I don't really think there's much yeah. we can talk. About. Wow. I can't even speculate on the next raid location because uh, of spoiling the story. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Next week. Next week. Well, next week. Tune in next week, guys. Well, we spoil it's the gonna story. It's going to be in the mists. It's fine. It's Oh, feels bad. Do you think that they'll connect the new Raid Wings to the Living Story like they did with the last? It'll be a distant last... connection. A... I hope not. Yeah. yeah, I hope not either. I, I would like it if it was separate. I, I, can, I can already like... imagine the people talking about it, like, why there's I... a part of the Living World story inside of Raid. Yeah. I, I just mean released, even, at the same time. Oh. Like, I, did not, I didn't like that. Like, they made me choose between playing the Raid and doing the story. Like, it'd be nice to have them as different patches, but... Some, someone's asking, do do we think a three man Veil Guardian would still be impressive to do after Path of Fire? Yes. Y yeah. I yeah. think it's even more yeah. possible now because of the. Th no, I mean, it's impressive. It's still, impre it's still impressive. Yeah. yeah when you, when like you crazy probably, impressive. You'd probably play the exact same composition though, wouldn't you? I don't think anything has changed, right? Let's what see. do you? What is it usually? Mesmer. It was Mesmer, Chrono, Mario, Berserker, Druid. and Druid. Druid. Yeah, you'd yeah. still do the same thing. Yeah. So it's 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 the same. I mean, maybe you could, you could, uh, yeah, you need distortion share, so, yeah. yeah. You have to have it the Mesmer. Uh, yeah. the, the Warrior, PS Warrior is pretty good. Uh, you need the Druid for even more buffs, like, you're not gonna, there's no real way around that, I don't think. Yeah. So, but it would still be really impressive, though. I, yeah, I think three-manning one of the bosses is pretty impressive. It's, yeah. it's three-manning it was designed for yeah. you. Like, yeah, I, I would say so. For sure. All right. All righty, then, so... It's time for time, we've, you've learned about the expansion, but now it's time for you guys to learn about us. Let's see. <laughs> oh <Thank> God! <laughs> Get out now. Shill time. It's, it's it's time to shill, guys. So let's see the sandwich. Let's let's begin with the meat in the sandwich, which is obviously Roy. What are you up to these I'm, days? I'm the meat in the sandwich. When are you streaming, yes. Roy? Oh, wait. when uh, are you streaming? Let's go. Well, I got my new CPU today, um, and I gotta harass you to help me set it up sometime soon. I don't know. I might, I don't know if I'll stream this week. Uh, Ash hasn't, we decided to skip raiding today, just because, you know, it's a clan fiesta and whatnot, and obviously the servers are shit. But uh, assuming everything works out well, we're going to start raiding Wednesday, and I figure I'll probably stream raids. So hopefully Wednesday would be a would be a time. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Well, I don't, I can't stream more when I don't stream, or well, I can stream more, because I don't stream at all. Yeah. So. so even one stream is already yeah. infinite hopefully, more streams. Hopefully I'll I'll start streaming at some point this week. Yeah, um, I don't really know exactly what I'll be doing yet, but and then now uh, the only other thing to say would be uh, the UGO. We're going to be doing a tournament in October. Dates haven't been decided yet, but keep an eye out for that if you're interested in that. If you don't know what that is, it's basically the only PvP tournament at the moment that's community run. Um, and yeah, other than that, follow Inks uh, on Twitter. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. Also, subscribe to Teapot, Ink, Nike, Plenix. Follow them Yay. all. They all. They're all wonderful streamers. Thank you. And yeah, cheers. There you go. All right. I got to see. Uh, um, let's see what direct. Let's go. Let's go up to Plenix. Just above uh. Ray's head is Plenix. His hey. short streams are legendary for being not <laughs> short at all. His long yeah. streams are very long. Uh, the, I, I said today I'm gonna stream for like two, three hours, four hours. Uh, it was ten. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So a, a short stream as well. A short stream. Y yeah, it's oh my, my normal God. short That's stream. So yeah, uh, I I stream on Twitch sometimes. Uh, yeah. He cooks on Twitch too. We want the cooking streams back. Yeah, I, I, I cook some stuff. I mean, uh, well, not specifically cook, but overcook it a lot. <laughs> but Ask Kev. It, it's fine. Yeah, just, yeah. It, it was fun memory. Yeah, it, w it was good. That was one of the best <laughs> streams I had. So, yeah. And, yeah, I also have a YouTube. So, yeah, I sometimes post videos regarding stuff. I post a video about, about what was all about Weaver as well. So, I guess you can check that out. And, yeah. That's me. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Who's next? It's MMO Inks, obviously. It's Inks. Uh, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube at MMO Inks. Oh, yep. Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube at MMO Inks. Uh, video's already rolling out. We had uh, War God Weapons roll out. We had the Mini Raptor Collection roll out today, video wise. Story starts on Monday. Spoilers. Story playthrough starts on Monday. And then Black Lion Chest and everything else will get wrapped in for double uploads throughout the week. Streams are Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. So we'll see you guys on Tuesday for a stream. Should All right. And in the bottom left, bringing a dash of elitism to tea time. It's <laughs> Nike. Thank God. I, do these days. I, uh, I do Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube as well. Um, Tinder... Facebook. Oh, oh. Yeah. Grinder. Yeah, yeah. Not Grinder. No. Oh. Not that one. You don't need both. But uh but yeah. That's it. Alright. I, I don't need sh I don't care about shilling. I don't need money. I'm fine. Oh. Oh. Wow. Wow. Alright. Then you know <laughs> if all that stuff's good, you know what's good? Having it all together, guys. And that's why you follow and subscribe to this stream. So you can experience all of that in one place, okay? Okay? Oh, I do man. a bunch of stuff. World vs. World, raids, open world PvE, casual gameplay, we've got it all here, guys, okay? Follow the stream if you enjoyed Tea Time. Come back, go and watch all the Tea Times. It's it, it's on YouTube, guys. Follow, subscribe on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter. Make sure I get more followers and things. Come on, guys. Come I'm going to predict this Come is going to be the most upvoted Ooh. Tea Time in the history of YouTube. Yeah? Because it has Roy and doesn't have Brazil and doesn't have Boots, which <laughs> I don't is know, very man. popular with the teeth. I've, with the, I've, it's, it's got Plenix, though. It's got Plenix, so we're going to spam down. It has me. Down, but... I'm oh. sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, so, it has yeah. me. I, I, I read yeah. through some of the uh, the comments on the other the other tea times I've been on, and half of them are why is Brazil bald? Why is Brazil a child? <laughs> <laughs> Where is Brazil? <laughs> so I don't know about that, but yeah, we'll see. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah, this tea time has me in it. I'm sorry, this is not going to be the we'll most. The most da dislikes ever. Uh, might be. <laughs> no, yeah, there's no Droyer. I don't know. It's uh, yeah. the community's got mixed feelings about the the guests we bring on the show anymore. Yeah. Wow. All right, okay. I love I love the hate. Love yeah. it. Oh, we all love it. We all love it, guys. Just embrace it and anyway, become a better person. Indeed. Thanks for watching, guys. Follow everyone here. Subscribe. And watch yeah. constantly. Just have it on loop on five monitors or something. We'll see you guys around. And thanks for watching, my friends. You guys, uh, just have a good day, okay? See you later, see my guys. friends.